All right, boys, this time we are doing a Royal Rumble to settle who truly is the most goaded in this game. And I gotta say, I have been practicing for this, so I have no plan on being defeated. Ha ha, yeah, right pipe down, little bitch boy. If you remember the last fight, I was like the damn final boss in Elden Ring in the cell. Ain't nobody on Trump's level. I'm glad to see you guys are excited for this match, but I invited a couple more guys to join us in this one, so let's hope it truly is an epic match. Why am I not surprised? But so be it, Obama, you can invite whoever you want. It won't make any difference. I will crush them in this ring, just like I'm going to crush Joe in the polls this next election. Believe that. I think you should focus on what's in front of you at this very moment, Donald. I've been training for this shit like Luke was training to take on Darth Vader. Oh, shit, I what the fuck? I swear y'all are going to be using hacks to defeat me. I mean, how else do you defeat a god if you don't cheat? Enough with accusing us all of cheating when things don't go your way, Donald. Maybe it's time to realize that what happened last time was just pure luck and that your days are numbered. Fuck you, you little fucking roach. I'm going to fuck up anyone that has the nuts to step in this ring with me. All right, bet just stick by those words when you're getting tossed out of this ring and spectating the rest of the match. I don't want to hear you crying on the sidelines. Well, guys, just be ready because the next contestant is about to be entering the ring, so let's see who it's going to be. I am one with the Force, and the Force is with me. This fuck boy really thinks he's a Jedi or some shit like the fuck. If you're a Jedi, then I'm about to execute Order 66 in this bitch. Now, who else wants to smoke with the Donald? Get ready, motherfuckers, because Uncle Bidenator is coming, brothers. Ha ha ha, oh boy, thank God this will be easy. Talk all that good shit now, Trump, but just remember, you already took a fat L to me in real life last presidential election. So who's to say the Bidenator won't come out on top again? And from the looks of it, it seems Ben had this handled anyways. Ha ha, thanks, Joe. Oh, hey, what the fuck, that was a cheap move. Never trust a liberal Ben, that was your first mistake. Sorry, Ben, but you know how it is. Ain't no new friends up in here. Yeah, I do see how it is. That was some pussy shit, Joe. I will remember that. Trump, get your orange Crayola looking ass up and help me out, would you? Fuck you, Ben, you fucking rat bastard. I'll get up, but only because of how much I enjoy hurting liberal scum. Feel the power of the Bidenator, Ben. Haha, <laughs> what a pussy letting Joe man handle you like that weakling. Now let me show you how a real man takes care of these liberals. I mean, shit, it's not hard putting them in their place, but... I guess you're too incompetent to do that, Ben. Oh, that's it, Trump. You done fucked up now. I'm going to send you home crying to Melania. Hey, wait, what the fuck are you doing, Ben? Haha, <laughs> yes, Ben, do it. Hacks, hacks, hacks. Fuck! <laughs> Fucking piece of shit, nerd, motherfucker, asshole. Fuck you, Ben. Fuck you. Trump, chill. Did you just smash your keyboard? You're damn right I did, Obama. This motherfucker cheated, and I want him disqualified immediately, and he owes me a new keyboard. I will sue if I have to. Trump chill, it's just a game, bro. Plus, you won the last one. I'm not buying you a new keyboard just because you can't control your temper. Yeah, Donnie, that one is kind of on you. Why don't you just commentate the match? That would still be fun, right? What the fuck ever I will do that then? Looks like you guys got someone else coming. Hope they fuck up, Ben. Don't be salty, man. It's all in good fun. Yeah, Trump, don't worry, brother, because Daddy Bush is here to dominate these hoes. Hey, Joe, what are you doing? Put me down. Looks like Joe might be giving you what you wished for, Don. Sure, Ben, I'll put you down if that's what you want. Joe, finish his ass. I swear I won't ever call you sleepy again. Fuck off of me. You really thought you had what it takes to defeat me? Of course. Why would I think sleepy had what it takes to defeat anyone? It's up to me to take down this little fuck. I honestly can't even tell what he's saying half the time. Screw you guys. Jill told me if I win this match, she will take me to go get ice cream. And I don't play when it comes to ice cream. Maybe that's why you can never tell where the fuck you're at sleepy. It's because you eat so much damn ice cream that you have permanent fucking brain freeze. Oh yeah, watch this elite tier fucking move I'm about to do. Uncle Bidenator is about to lay down some pain. Looks like the only pain you laid down was on yourself, Grandpa. Yeah, Joe, maybe you should just hop out the ring and let the real big boys handle this. Guys, be cool. Joe just likes to be included in these videos and you never know he could get lucky. Thanks, Barry. Nice to know somebody's got my back. I just want to know how Ben is even still in this. I will give a small loan of a million dollars to whoever tosses that little prick out the ring. Shit, imagine the ice cream I could buy with that money. Fuck off, Joe. He is mine. Fuck you, George Flying Bidenator. Damn it, Joe, you fucking senile bastard. I could have had him. Haha, <laughs> yes, thank you, Joe. I appreciate the help, but now I gotta beat your ass. Damn, Joe, you really are one clueless fuck, aren't you? Well, somebody else is about to join you guys, so hopefully they will be more competent than you fucking idiots. Oh boy, I wonder who it's gonna be. I won't lie, I'm already getting tired because I didn't go to bed until 5 p.m. last night. My God, Joe, please just shut up. You are so cringe. Well, gentlemen, get ready because everyone's favorite president is getting in on this action. Ha ha, I think you meant to say the president responsible for drone striking more children's hospitals than Tom Brady has Super Bowl rings. Keep laughing over there on the sidelines, Trump. Meanwhile, I'll be coasting my way to another victory.
I don't think so, Barack. Nobody wants this dub as bad as I do. I've waited my whole life for this exact moment. That's kind of sad, but no cap. And Joe, the fuck are you doing over there taking a nap? Huh, um, what? Oh, no, guys, I wasn't sleeping. It was just a really long blink. At least try to keep one eye open, Joe. I vouched for you that you would be able to stay awake for at least 15 minutes. Ha, ha, ha. I wouldn't hold your breath on that one, Obama. I bet he's nodding out while he's got his fucking controller in his hand and fucking drool coming out his mouth with that same goofy ass look he always got on his face. That's enough. It's time someone else got eliminated here. And sorry to tell you, Georgie, but you got to go, buddy. Wait, Ben, please. I don't want to have to go hang out with my wife. Damn tough luck, George. Looks like you're on the sidelines with Trump. With Trump? Actually, guys, you know what? Hanging out with my wife sounds great. Peace, everyone. The fuck? Fuck out of here. Who wouldn't want to hang out with me? I'm so great and I'm so fantastic. Everyone is always telling me that they love me being around. I'm sure that's just what Melania said when she saw your bank account too, huh, Trump? She's definite for your personality, I'm sure. Yeah, exactly. In fact, every time I hand her my credit card, she always tells me how handsome I am and how much she loves me. And you say Joe is clueless. Shut up, drone boy. Anyways, looks like you guys got another opponent about to enter. Gotta say, I'm curious to see who else you invited to this match, Obama. Yeah, same. Who else do I have to destroy to win this? Hello, guys. It's the 35th president of the United States of America, John F. Kennedy. America's true favorite president of all time. Oh, shit. Wow, guys. I love this guy. Well, sorry to bring you bad news then, Joe, but you're out of here. No, why I hate you, Ben. I wanted to hang out with John. Well, Sleepy, now you get to hang out with me instead. Fuck. Do not worry, Joe. I will do my best to avenge you. As the best president of all American history, I feel it is my duty to do such. Best American president of all time? I wouldn't go that far. I feel like you need to serve more than just two years to be up in that area of achievement. Fuck you, you fucking dork. At least I was a president, and you can deny at least that I am not one of the most famous ones. Put some respect on my name, fuck boy. Damn, Ben, he kind of got you there, bud. Ha ha, yeah, you know what, John? I like you, even if you are a liberal. Yeah, Ben, leave John alone. He is the homie. Wow, okay, fuck you guys. Why don't you all just attack me then, goddamn? It's okay, Ben, we're all cool here. I'll even say I'm surprised a little skinny nerd like yourself even made it this far in the match. So for that, I commend you. And I'm surprised you even made it that far down the road in your car until you got your fucking brains blown out. Whoa, whoa, not cool, Ben. Cut that shit out now. Yeah, for real, Ben, don't make the Bidenator have to come back in there and whoop your fucking ass. Ben, you little puss boy, you best take that shit back or else next time I see you, it's on sight, fuck boy. Okay, okay, damn, I'm sorry, John, I did go too far there. I've just been waiting for this match for a long time, so I apologize if I took things too personal and went too far. It's okay, Ben, let's just try to keep our personal lives out of this from now on and we're all good, bro. Glad we could all get that cleared up. And just in time for our next challenger to enter the ring. Oh boy, who is it going to be this time? I hope it's the ice cream man. Sorry, Joe, no ice cream here, but I do have plenty of edibles on deck. Oh shit, it's Joe Rogan. I love you from being a WWE commentator. Joe, he is a UFC commentator, not WWE. Though they are both owned by the same company now, I think. For real, Joe, even I know that, and I've been dead for years. Thanks, guys. I also run a pretty well-known podcast, and I would love to have some of you on it sometime. Fuck yeah, count me in, bro. I would love to come over there and get blazed with you, man. I could use a break away from Melania anyways. Yeah, I gotta say I'm a fan as well. But guys, I gotta say it's getting late, so maybe we should skip to when the next contestant joins in because none of us are seeming to get the best of each other here. Yes, please, because y'all are starting to bore me, no cap. Okay, yeah, we can do that this once, I suppose. And here he comes now. What's up, you punk bitches? It's me Heisenberg motherfuckers. Who is ready to feel some fucking pain? Oh, hell yeah, it's Walter White. I love this guy in Game of Thrones. I was rooting for him to get on the Iron Throne since season two. Joe, you fucking Alzheimer's ridden fuck he is from Breaking Bad. Seriously, man, you might want to go get your fucking brain checked out. And you're really going to run for president again next election? Don't make it too easy on me now. Yeah, don't you ever associate me with that fucking show? It had the most dog piss ending ever, unlike my show where I go out like an absolute fucking G. Hey, let's not hate on Game of Thrones too much, though. I would say not counting the last two seasons that the show was pretty top tier. Plus, the Dragon Queen is an absolute baddie. Facts. Yeah, ain't no denying that she is pretty bad. I want to get Jill to dress up and do a cosplay of her sometime. Joe, that's fucking disgusting. Please don't put that image in my head. Look at you little pussy bitches trying to team up on me. Like the both of you would even stand a chance. Oh shit, Walt, it's not personal. What's personal is that none of you have still taken out Ben yet. How the fuck is it so hard to get him out of there? I'm trying, Donald, but the little guy just won't give up. Looks like we're going to have to skip a little ahead again to get this next contestant in here, or else we will be here all night long. Let's see who else we have here. Hey, guys, what's up? Sorry I am late. 
My Tesla was on auto drive mode and I crashed into Stone Cold Steve Austin's truck in the parking lot. Man was not too happy with me. Oh shit, it's Papa Elon. It's all good, bro. Not every day I get to meet someone richer than myself. I'm a huge fan. Nice to have you here, Elon. Only one more contestant to go after you. Yeah, I gotta say it's nice to have you here, Elon. Really wanted to get some more guys that weren't just United States presidents in here. Well, besides Ben, of course. Yeah, even if your cars crash themselves and you make Twitter even worse, then it already is. I will say it is a nice change to not be the only one who wasn't a president in these matches. Yeah, I'll get high in a Tesla any day, man. I could give a fuck about you, to be honest, Elon. You're just another man that's in my way. So I suggest you stay out of it, or I will make you bleed all over your prissy little electric car. I'm just here to have fun, man, but keep talking shit and I'll ban you on Twitter. Yeah, come on, Walt, just chill out. The fuck you just say to me, Rogan? Looks like you're the one who I need to make an example of. Oh, fuck no. Well, guys, it was nice hanging out with y'all. Let me know next time you guys do this. Wow, somebody finally got eliminated about time. Joe, nice seeing you, man. We will hit you up for sure. Now, can someone please get Ben's little bitch ass already? This is getting ridiculous. Not gonna happen, Trump. I told you I've been training for this moment and ain't no way I'm losing after I've gone this far. Well, our final fighter is about to be in here soon. Wonder who Obama got because I'll say I've been quite surprised with his choices thus far. Haha, <laughs> Trump, you probably won't be a huge fan of this one. Who is it? Why is their name all start out? What's up, my brothers? It's your boy Bill Clinton in this bitch. Hillary, let me play with you guys tonight. Oh, fuck no. Why the fuck did you invite him, Obama? This guy is just as senile as Joe, if not more. Go fuck yourself, Trump. That's why you're spectating while all the real men are in the ring battling it out. Just sit there and watch, kiddo. Yeah, Trump, he seems OK to me. A lot of crazy characters here with us, honestly. Still can't believe you guys have electric cars in your time. Just another old man for me to take out. I got to say, you guys were really trying to make this easy for me. Who you call an old man with your bald ass? I didn't even like your show, honestly. Stop the cap bill, Breaking Bad is peak. Well, guys, I got to say, as fun as this is, it's time to get for real here. Sorry, Elon, but I got to take you out, dog. Oh, that's OK, man. I got to go back to the Twitter headquarters anyways and yell at my employees for no reason. And another one is gone. Looks like shit's getting more serious now, boys. But yet Ben is still in this. I swear I never get what I want. Don't worry, Don. I got a plan for him real soon. Can't wait to get the win and show Hillary my great victory here today. Maybe then she will forgive me for that affair I had with the maid all those years ago. That's it, Obama. It's about time you went and hung out with Trump. You're one of the only real threats I see in this ring. Yeah, right. I won't go out that easy, Walt. Oh, you will, because you're all a bunch of pussies to me. Oh, shit. Hold up a sec. Get fucked, drone boy. Oh, shit, Ben. What the hell was that? See you later, loser. What? Oh, fuck no. You gotta be fucking kidding me, John. What the actual fuck? I did all that training just to get knocked out like that. You gotta be fucking joking right now. Ha, ha, ha. Yes, fucking finally. That's what you get, Ben, you fucking bitch. Uh, I can rest happily now knowing your punk ass didn't win this. Yeah, I gotta say, it didn't really sit right with me thinking Ben might have actually pulled it off after being all the way in the beginning of the match. So yeah, what Trump said, get fucked, Ben. And now it's time for your puss ass to go as well, Bill? Oh, please no, Hillary's gonna make me sleep in the backyard tonight if I don't win. Looks like it's just us two now, John. Time to end this already. I gotta go cook up with Jesse. I won't go down without a fight, you rat bastard. Oh, but you will, John because you a little pussy bitch, and you will do what Heisenberg tells you to. Oh shit. No. Damn, wasn't expecting that. Well, at least John didn't win after how he took me out. That's right, motherfuckers. Walter White is the top dog here, baby. Make sure y'all remember that next time you decide to have a match. Oh, we will, Walt. I had fun here today, guys. Let's do this again soon. And remember, if you like this video, like and subscribe to Lord Waff and let him know what you thought. Peace, bitches. All right, everyone, today we are doing a tag team mixed gender match. With me is the fearless and most beautiful of women in the WWE, Rhea Ripley herself. And I gotta say, Mommy, it's great having you on my side. Oh, thank you, Donnie. And I have to say, this is not something I ever expected to happen. It's one thing to actually be in the WWE, but it's so different to be playing as myself in a game and with two presidents at that. Yeah, it really is a pleasure having you here with us, Rhea. But let's not also forget that since this is a mixed gender match, that I also have a very beautiful and lovely woman on my side as well who goes by the name of Ice Spice. And baby, I gotta say, after hearing your song, I have to admit that I am in fact a total munch. I mean this so seriously. 
Ha ha, ah, thank you, Joey. And yes, thanks for inviting me to play with you guys. It's nice to take a break from making music and just relax and play some games with you guys. But don't think that just since I agreed to be on your team, Joe, that I'm feeling you. I say this just because Obama told me how you can get around women sometimes. Ha ha, yeah, Joe, there's a reason why I call you Sleepy Creepy Joe, so why don't you just try to keep it together tonight and not sniffing any girl you see like you always do on TV, okay? Wow, Barry really had to sell me out like that. Hey, Joe, I'm here too. Remember me and Ben are gonna commentate this match? And I'm sorry, bro, but sometimes you do be acting hella sus around the ladies, and I just don't want to scare them off so that they never want to play with us again. Yes, Joe, it's not because we don't like you. We just want to make sure you behave yourself during this match, okay? So just try to keep it in your pants. Thanks, boys. It's all right, though. I think me and Ice can handle ourselves just fine if anything gets crazy. I'm used to fake flirting anyways because I always have to do it with that loser Dominic Mysterio. Yeah, I really hate that guy. Man, he is such a little pussy. One of these days I want to play him and fuck him up. Ever since he turned on his dad, he became such an easy person to dislike fuck him. Yeah, guy is cringy, but Joey Daddy, you're not doing so great against Donald over there. You should probably have me come in and take over for a bit. I love to watch the women wrestle, so here, Joe, this is a mercy I will grant you. Damn, Joe just got saved by Trump simping. It won't matter here, though. Sorry, Ice, but I gotta fuck you up now, sweetheart. Haha, <laughs> yeah, right, bitch. There's a reason why in the hood they call me Princess Diana. Cause I be knocking hoes weaves out they head. I'm from the Bronx, so don't underestimate me. No, mommy, get up. Wow, I was not expecting that I can't lie. Looks like these ladies came to play for real boys. I would love for Ice to come play with me sometime, that's for sure. Joe, your old ass wouldn't even know what to do with all that. Prob would just stand there drooling like Trump when he sees a fucking McDonald's. Fuck you, Ben. Damn, bear with me here, Donnie. I have no clue how to play this game. I probably should have practiced a bit like you said. I mean, I did offer you to come to my house in Mar-a-Lago to try it out. Yeah, but thought it was kind of sus when you told me to come over at 2 a.m. and that Melania was on vacation, so I didn't feel comfortable. Ha uh ha, -huh, damn, caught in 4K, Donnie. Period, girl. You know, he was looking for the sneaky link. Fuck you all. I was just trying to practice. Yeah, sure, you were Trump. Perverted ass. Fuck, I can help it, guys. I just need one sniff. Joe, what are you doing? Oh, yeah, baby, that's the stuff right there. Damn guy smells like sweat and lavender fucking peak sniff right there. Joe, what the fuck, man? We talked about this. Yeah, Joe, don't you fucking disrespect mommy like that, you fucking dementia-having little bitch ass. Your little fucking pecker don't work, I bet, anyways. So stop acting like a fucking creep. Uh, I think he's actually kind of cute, though. Oh, uh, hell yeah, she's feeling the Bidenator get me in this ring. Your boy is fired up now. Girl, no offense, but you might have some issues. For real, like, no way Joe actually just actually had some kind of Riz effect on you right there, Ice Spice, from watching him sniff a woman without consent. I don't know, guys. I mean, he just gives me, like, that sweet grandpa kind of vibes. You mean pervy senile probably just shit himself and doesn't even know it kind of vibes, right? Now let me show you what a real man looks like, Ice Spice. Oh, shit, can Trump end this? Finish him, Trump. Not so fast, Kia. Yes, Joey, Daddy, I knew you couldn't be beat so easily. Now go get his orange ass. Oh, uh, yeah, right. Joe doesn't stand a chance against me. I seriously doubt Joe can beat me, let alone anyone in this game. His old ass probably can't even see what buttons he's pushing. Haha, uh -huh, you're probably right about that, Donnie. Now I'm done fucking around, gonna show these bitches what's up. Oh, damn, looks like the tables might have turned now for Trump and Mrs. Ripley here. Of course, Ben, I mean, I am unbeatable in anything I do. I mean, can anyone here name anything that I've ever actually been beaten in? I bet not. What about the last election? Yeah, and what about that defamation charge you just caught? Don't you have to pay out like five million or something like that? And what about the last match that we had? I remember you actually lost pretty early on into the Royal Rumble and you smashed your keyboard like a sweaty neckbeard. Damn, Trump kind of sounds like you've been taking all kinds of L's lately. Maybe me and Joey can add one more for you. Okay, fuck all of you guys. That last election was rigged, Joe, and you know it, bitch boy. And as for that defamation charge, Obama, it's fake news, but $5 million is literally not shit to me. I make that while I'm taking a fucking piss. And Ben, I'm still waiting for a rematch between you and me for that last match because I was robbed. And Ice Spice, I know you ain't talking shit. The only people who are actual fans of your music are so brain dead from scrolling on fucking TikTok all day that half of their brain cells just committed suicide and the other half that are still left over hear your music and somehow think that shit is good. Okay, Donnie Popoff, but I'm gonna need you to jump in here because this girl is clearly way better than me at this game. Fuck you, Donnie. After I win, I'm gonna make you listen to my music until you are a fan because you kind of low-key hurt my feelings, no cap. How dare you hurt my sweet little kitten's feelings, Donald? You're about to feel the power of the Bidenator, motherfucker. Shut your puss ass up, Joe. Only thing I'm about to feel is the pure joy of winning this match, and ain't no way you can do shit about that. Damn, Joe. Come on now, I'm actually kind of pulling for you here, but you make it hard to when you just get beat up the whole time.
as much as I would love to agree, Obama, I got to say I'm rooting for Trump and Rhea in this one, mostly just because Rhea is kind of a baddie in a weird way. And I just can't stand to see liberals win at anything. But still, fuck you, Trump. Haha. Um, thanks. I guess, Ben, I don't know what you mean when you say in a weird way. But yeah, um, thank you. Joe, get your ass ready, because here come the Trump Tower pussy. Oh, no, Joey, daddy, look out. Um, uh, what? Who, where? Oh, man, he's screwed. Trump Tower pussy. Ow. Haha, uh-huh, yes, Trump baby, that was amazing. Now tag me in, I'm not done with them yet. You just fucked up, bitch. I'm really gonna go crazy on y'all now after how you just did Joey. Wow, Barack, I have to say this is actually heating up to be a pretty decent matchup. Yeah, no cap, Ben, and I gotta admit that when I invited these ladies to do this, I mainly just invited them because they are kind of bad and got some fatties. But this is actually going better than I imagined. Icy tag me and Uncle Joey is ready to take on that orange balloon. Okay, Daddy, you got this. All right, come on, Trump. Shut your bitch ass up, Joe. Goddamn, Joe, every time I think you're about to show up and do something, you fall flat on your ass. Ha <laughs> ha, yeah, looks like I picked the right man for the job when I chose to team up with Donnie here. Joe is just creepy, and honestly, it looks like he has played this game as much as I have. Don't worry, Joe, just block out all the haters, man. I know I was kind of low-key hating on you before, but you know, I still want you to win, homie. Yeah, Joe, you got this. Don't listen to what none of them haters say. Shit, I get people like Donald hating on my music every day, but I still keep it pushing. As long as you try, that's all that matters. Oh my God, can you all please stop this little fairy pussy ass pep talk bullshit right now? Just let Joe get his ass beat with whatever dignity he has left, assuming he even had any at all. How's this for dignity Trump? Joe cold stunner. Oh shit, he just did Trump's finishing move on him. Gotta say, Joe, that was bold as fuck, man. Yes, Joey, I love you so much. That a boy, Joe. I know you did not just fucking do that shit, Joe. You for real fucked up now, bro. Just let me get back in this ring. Trump, don't let him get away with that disrespect. As a member of the WWE, when someone does that, that means shit's real personal. Oh, do not worry, Mommy. I have no intentions of letting Joe get away with that greasy puss-ass shit. I'm about to show him what real pain feels like. Oh, shit, here it comes. He's going to do it to Joe. Get ready. Trump cold stunner pussy. Joey, no. Ice help, please. You cheating motherfuckers. Donnie, it's okay. Just tag me in. I can take this from here. Ice, I'm sorry, sweetheart, but Uncle Bidenator can't go on. It's up to you now. It's okay, Joe. I got this. Don't worry. I will not let them get away with what they have done to you here. Come on, bitch. Let's do this. Oh, shit. One final stand to determine who is going to get the win. Man, this has been exciting to watch. Yeah, I honestly don't know who is going to come out on top. What a fucking match, Ben. All right, Rhea, it's all good. Just get out of this and fuck that bitch up. Okay, bitch, is that how you want to play this fine? I've been saving this. Get ready for the ice spice sugar and everything nice. What in the fuck is that? What are you doing? Oh, no, Donnie, man. How do I get out of this? I don't know what buttons to push. We might be kind of fucked here. Go ice ice, baby. What? No, you got to be fucking kidding me. I just lost to Joe. Fuck this him out. Holy shit, Joe finally got himself a win. And Donald's really got to stop breaking his stuff when he loses. Congrats, Joe. It's about time, man. Yeah, that was fun, guys. Thanks for having me on. Gotta go. Peace out, y'all. Yes, we did it, Ice. Come here, baby. Let Uncle Joe get a victory sniff. Um, oh, what the fuck? Why not? I guess it is your first win. So glad I could be a part of it. Even though you kind of got carried to that win, Joe, a dub is still a dub. So enjoy it, man. Thanks, Barry. I will. And guys, if you enjoyed this, then drop a like and subscribe to Lord Waffs for more content like this in the future. Peace, bitches. All right, gentlemen, today we are doing an Elimination Chamber match. I gotta say, I've been really excited for another chance to get in the ring with all of you, and today we have a new person to our roster. Everyone give a warm welcome to Andrew Tate, a.k.a. the Top Dog. Andrew, top thanks G. for agreeing to play 2K with us tonight. Thanks, Obama. It's great to be here with all of you. I'm going to teach you guys a lesson today on how to be a man and how to be forever successful in life and in business. All it's going to cost you is 179.99 a month for the rest of your pathetic lives. And you can trust me. I mean, look how rich I am. Uh, hey, Andrew, nice to have you, man. But I doubt there is anything you can teach me about being a successful businessman. I mean, I am a billionaire and richer than anyone here. But I do like the videos I've seen of you on how you say women are lesser beings than us men. Ah, yes, now that is something I can get behind. Shut up, Trump. Of course you would agree with that. But Andrew, it is great to have you here. It'll be a great story to tell everyone when I beat you here tonight and overthrow you as the new top G. I will be the top B. For Ben, of course. Ha ha, yeah, Ben, I think what you meant to say was top bitch, right? Sorry, bud, but you walked yourself right into that one and Uncle Bidenator couldn't resist. But glad to have you here, Andrew. I watch a lot of your videos. Funny because I thought you were still in jail. Had no clue you even got out yet. Let's talk after this, though. I think I would like to sign up for your school courses because Jill keeps telling me I need to do something with my life besides just locking myself in the Oval Office and playing video games all day. Joe, what the hell do you mean do something with your life? You are the damn president of the United States, dumbass. 
And Andrew, good to have you here, I guess. But I can't say I have ever heard of you, but I know for a fact you have heard of me. But nonetheless, you're in for a good beating if you dare step in this ring with me here today. Okay, now that's out of the way. We can focus on this match. Get your punk ass on the ground, George. Oh, what the fuck, Barry? So that's how we are playing this, huh? Okay, I'll remember that. You just made a great enemy here today. Ha-ha, damn, George. How you gonna let some little liberal throw you on the ground like that? Could never be me. Just wait until I get in this ring. I've got plenty of Trump cold stunners here for everyone. I'm itching to get into a ring again. It's been a long time since I did pro kickboxing, but I'm sure with that experience that the WWE should be fucking simple. Hope you guys realize that my character is a 100 overall. Figured nothing but the best for the most alpha male that's ever walked this earth. Well, that's kind of cheating, but it's okay. We will allow it this one time, I guess, Andrew. It makes no difference to me. Now come here, Obama. I got something for your liberal ass. Get off me, Trump. You really thought it would be so easy to phase me. Ha ha, hit him in the balls, Barry. Let's see if he has any. Wow, just keep proving me right about how you Dems are all cowards. Ha ha, oh damn, George, looks like I busted you open there, old man. You look good in red, ha ha. Shut your ass up, Ben, you little bitch. I'll make sure to return the favor real soon, puss boy. I think I can help you out here, Bush. If you sign up for my Hustler University right now, I can show you how to get jacked and beat the shit out of little piss heels like Ben over here. I'll give you a 15% discount on your first three months, but only if you sign up right now. Thanks, but no thanks, Andrew. I can handle this, Roach. Oh boy, the chamber's about to open. I hope it's me. The Bidenator is ready for his moment of glory. Yes, time to unleash pain onto my enemies. Oh, great. We got fucking Sleepy Creepy Joe in here, guys. Don't start sniffing us, Joe. I know what kind of shit you'll be on. I've got my sights locked on Ben. There's just something about him that pisses me off. Maybe it's because of how fast he talks and acts like a little know-it-all, bitch. Shut your Alzheimer's having ass up, Joe. You can't phase Ben 10. Think you can pin me this easily? You're a joke, old man. Looks like I'm gonna have to do something big to eliminate someone here. Gonna climb up on this chamber and drop a bomb on someone Obama style. Ah, uh, what the fuck, man? Why's it gotta be on me? I won't go down this easily. Also, I'm surprised you would drop a bomb this far away from any elementary schools or hospitals, considering that is more of your style, drone boy. Haha, <laughs> damn, he got you there, Barry. That's it, Joey, you're next now. Well, guys, get ready because the alpha male himself, the top G, is about to be joining you all soon. Man, I am ready to fuck someone up. I got way too much pent-up stress from being on house arrest for so long. Bring it on, Mr. Clean. I'm ready to beat your ass. I gotta say, even though I'm a fan of you, I just hate your cocky ass attitude. Only I am allowed to act like that because I am the chosen one. You know it, I know it, we all know it. Except you weren't the chosen one in the last election, were you, Donnie? As I recall, I was. Come on, man, everyone know Uncle Joe is the new top G. There you go with that whole last election shit again that you always love to bring up. Joe, I'm winning in life in every way possible, five times better than you. My house is bigger, my bank is bigger, and my bitch's ass is fatter. So keep trying, Lil Bro. Plus, we all know that shit was rigged. Every time I see you on TV, you're always stuttering and mumbling, and nobody knows what the hell you're saying, sounding like Donald Duck. Sit down, little buddy. Damn, Joe, sounds like to me you are a total beta bro. Sad to see man shit couldn't be me. I would just pull up in one of my 17 supercars that I always make sure I mention in every video to flex on anyone who calls me out like that. Yeah, Joe Trump kind of just cooked your ass, man. If I was you, I would just be quiet from here on out. Haha, <laughs> yeah, fuck you, Joe. I don't really have much to add on that, but I always love when we get to gang up on you and bully you. Barry, make them stop. They are being mean to me. It's not fair. Uh, guys, just take it easy on Joe, please. He's just trying to fit in and be cool. We don't all have to just gang up on him. Especially you, Ben. You're a fucking nerd. Wow, damn Barry coming from you. I gotta say that kind of hurt. Whatever, I ain't sorry. Now, George, Trump cold stunner pussy. Oh, shit. What the fuck? No. Damn, just like that, you're done, buddy. Haha, ha, shouldn't have crossed eyes with the chosen one fuck boy. Now have fun spectating. Damn it, screw you. Trump, you're a real scumbag. And you get ready to spectate me clapping Melania's cheeks and heading over to your house right now. You will see me in a bit. Oh shit, he just left the Discord. You don't actually think he's gonna show up to your house, do you, Donald? Haha, <laughs> yeah, right, he's just all talk, Joe. And besides, I would like to see him try. I would lay his ass out even if he did. He is just on some beta shit, man. I gotta say, I don't know why someone would get so mad over a video game. It's not like any of this is even real. I don't know, guys. He just sent me a picture of himself getting into a Uber and the destination said Donald's house. Oh shit, you better get ready, Trump. I think he might actually pull up on you. Hey, let's just see what happens. You know, your boy Donald ain't scared of his little pussy ass. I'll deal with him if and when he shows. Yeah, if he does though, you gotta knock his ass out for talking about your lady like that. Can't no man try to come up on another's territory like that and not get their ass whooped? Like he would even stand a chance with my wife. 
Everyone knows these bitches love money and nothing else. And your boy Don's got more that he knows what to do with. But let's just focus on this match, because now I'm coming for blood, because nothing would be better than bragging in his face that I got the win here tonight. OK, bet. But someone else needs to get eliminated here, because I don't have all night. And Joey, my friend, I'm sorry, but you're easy pickings, bud. What's that supposed to mean, Barack? I thought us Democrat boys are supposed to stick together. Damn, the liberals are turning on each other. I always love to see that. No, Barry, please. I don't want to go spectate. That's the winner's mentality right there, guys. The weak are devoured by the strong. Natural selection at its finest. Ha ha, bye bye, Sleepy Joe. Don't worry, you can cheer for me now that your best buddy has betrayed you. Forgive me, Joe. I told Michelle I would take her to Cheesecake Factory tonight, and if I'm not done and ready in 30 minutes, she's going to kill me. Wow, Obama, right when I was starting to think you were kind of cool, but I can't condone that kind of simping behavior. A man tells the woman when they go and where they go, not the other way around. You really need to sign up and watch some of my classes. Shut up, Andrew. You don't know this woman. She is built like Rhea Ripley's older pissed off sister and she can tackle like an NFL linebacker, so I ain't taking no chances with her. Wait a minute, what the fuck? How did I not get out of that? Because you're a little simp pussy boy. Now to take care of you two clowns and I can go and smoke a cigar in my new Bugatti. Oh shit, that's what you get, Barry. You were no chance for the top G motherfucker. Now that you have lost, I forgive you though. Ha ha, get fucked, Obama. Have fun sitting at the kids' table with Joe. Let the real men fight this one out. Looks like I've made it to the top three. Man, I never do cease to amaze myself. I have a feeling this will finally be my chance of glory I have so desperately been waiting for. Yeah, right, dork. I used to give little dweebs like you swirlies in high school for my sole amusement. A man-child like you could never equal up to a real boss like me. That's why I'm about to finish your bald ass now, right? Not so fast, Ben. I've been cooking up something for your bitch ass for a while now. Trump cold stunner, pussy. Oh, shit. Ben looks like you're just getting straight up bullied. Bet you're getting high school flashbacks. Ah, uh, now I remember high school. Used to have old Mr. Bebop pick all us kids up in the horse carriage and ride us 47 miles to school in the morning. Back when a whole pack of cigarettes costed only one nickel. Joe, come on now, man. You are really not that old, bro. But hey, Trump just thought I should say George just sent me another text, and it's a picture of him right outside mar largo So I think he might actually be showing up to your crib right now. Oh shit, I didn't actually think the old man had it in him, but I guess a little bit of the Top G's presence rubbed off on him. Wow, what the hell, you sure he didn't just Photoshop it or something? And even if he is here, there's no way he would get past the security here. They only let you in if the resident phones in ahead of time and lets them know what time a guest is coming. Haha, <laughs> not scared, are you, Trump? Shut up, Sleepy. Of course, I'm not scared. I'm just going to laugh when he gets back on Discord later and says he came all the way down here just to get turned away. Shit is hilarious. Well, you might want to try and finish this soon, guys, because he just sent a video of him slipping the guards at Trump's neighborhood some cash, and then they let him through the gate. Says he just has to find your house now. Oh, shit. Fuck no. Okay, now he just pissed me off. If he wants to smoke with me, then he's going to regret that shit. Come here, Ben. Trump cold stunner, puss boy. Oh, fuck no. Come on, Trump. This was supposed to be the match I win finally. Think he's got himself a match in real life. He has to worry about Ben. Just go sit out now so I can win this and we can listen to how this plays out. Oh, man, this looks like it's getting good now, Barry. Hey, Andrew, guess what? Trump cold stunner, bald bitch. Oh, shit, this might be it. Fuck, can't believe I keep getting robbed. When will my moment of victory finally come? Get off me, Donald. I didn't sign up for this shit to lose. Holy shit, can't believe he just got out of that. I really thought it was over. You just don't know when to stay down, do you, Andrew? No worries, because now you just pissed me off even more. If another Trump cold stunner is what you want, then who am I to deny you of it? Come on, Donald, don't do this, man. I got a reputation to uphold. You just got out of jail for some fucked up shit. I think you should worry about that. Now, Trump cold stunner, motherfucker. No, but I am the top G. Yeah, but I am the top D. Big dick Donald bitch boy, so lay your ass down on the floor. Oh man, not again. Don't tell me Donald is really gonna win again. I can't watch. You watch Joe, just watch as I dominate this once again and walk away with my second dub of our official WWE series. Aw, oh, shit, man. You gotta be kidding me. There's no way I actually lost this fight. I'm gonna go smoke 20 cigars while I crash my Bugatti into a fucking wall. Haha, <laughs> yes. Victory yet again for me. It's okay, Andrew. You did a great job here, man, and you made it longer than any of us, so don't be too hard on yourself. Yeah, I will say you did a lot better than I thought for a newbie. Yeah, we love you, Top G, so it's all good, my guy. You can still come back next time. I'll say, though, I guess George was just all talk that whole time, huh? He never showed up. Hold up, guys. I think someone just knocked on my door. I think it's the Papa John's delivery guy. Give me a sec. Oh, boy, here we go. What took you so long? Hope you don't think you're getting a tie, George? 
What's up now, motherfucker? Get over here. Oh, shit. Come here, you bastard. I'm gonna show you some real pain. Ah, oh, fuck you, George. Come on, then. Wow, this is crazy. I wasn't actually expecting this. I take back everything I said before this night is now a total win. Oh, shit. Watch out for my PC, you foot. Trump? Donald? Oh, man, no, they must have busted his PC. I wanted to hear how that turned out. Damn, yeah, man, that was getting good. Oh, well, we will have to ask him next time we play with him. Well, until next time, I guess, boys. And if you liked what you saw here tonight, then like and subscribe to Lord Waff for more if you want to find out what happens next. Until then, though, I got to go take Michelle to Cheesecake Factory. Peace, bitches. Hello, everybody. We are back with another video, and today we have an exciting match for you as we will be doing a Money in the Bank match. And after that, I hear Trump and George are going to have a quick one-on-one -on -one match to settle the beef they have following the events of the last video. We also have two new faces here tonight. So everyone welcome Ron DeSantis and President Nixon. Great to have the both of you here with us tonight. Thanks for playing with us, guys. Hey, Obama, thanks for inviting me to play with you guys. I have to say, when you told me that Trump would be here, there was no way I could say no to a chance to beat him. I'll take any chance I could possibly get to make him look stupid. So I've been practicing playing this game on my off time, and I'm ready for this. Yeah, thanks for the invite, Barack. I have always wanted a chance of redemption to prove to America that I am not a bad guy and that I am most definitely not a crook. Though I do plan on stealing a win here today from all of you. Haha, <laughs> see what I did there. Really, Barack, you are really going to do this to me? You know I don't like DeSantis. In fact, I fucking hate this guy. He is always trying to undermine me on TV, even though we are both a part of the same party. He is doing it because he is going to announce he is running for president. But trust me when I tell you, Ron, you do not stand a chance against the Donald. So you should just quit while you're ahead and stick to being the governor of Florida, little buddy. And Nixon, cool to have you here, man. Don't worry, I don't think you're a crook. I'm a businessman, and sometimes in business, things just get ugly. Damn Trump, you mad dog. Don't worry, I'm not a fan of DeSantis either. That asshole is always on the news telling everyone I'm incompetent at my job, so fuck him. But Nixon, I'm glad to have you here too. Man, you're a legend. I mean, you were probably one of the more corrupt presidents we have ever had, and you had to resign, but hey, everyone knows who you are, so you left your mark at least. I personally think you were pretty shit in every way possible, Nixon. But cool to have you here, I guess. DeSantis, I just want to tell you that I really think you have a great shot of winning if you run for president, so I'm excited to see if you do. I made a video, in fact, speaking on how you will absolutely fuck Trump's orange ass up if you did so. I will say I'm a bit of a fan. Thanks, Ben. Happy to hear that. There is a reason why in Florida they call me Daddy D, and it's because the people know they need a man like me for the job, not some mentally unstable old senile pervy grandpa like Joe or the fucking orange Kool-Aid man like Trump. Well, go fuck yourself, buddy. At least I'm not trying to fuck Mickey Mouse. I've heard what your plans are for Disney World, you bastard, and I'll be damned if I let you ruin my fun times going to Epcot and going and getting wasted with Mickey and Donald. Whoa, whoa, okay guys, let's just tone it down a bit. This is supposed to be fun, remember? So let's just focus on the game instead of our political differences, all right? It's getting a little annoying that I have to say this every video. Yeah, I agree. Let's just try to have a fun time here, gentlemen. I want to see if I can figure out how to get this briefcase off the cables. How much cash do we have in there? Haha, ha, you don't even know how to get to the briefcase. This is great, guys. The Bidenator is going to be a rich man after tonight. And I don't know how much money there is, but there's got to be enough for me to get some ice cream after this. Like you even stand a chance, Joe. Who are you laughing at? The only win you ever got was when you teamed up with Ice Spice and she was the one who actually got the dub for you. Heard she also blocked you on everything because you kept sending her audio texts of you sniffing. Fuck you, Ben. When did you actually get a win again? That's right, bitch. You don't have one. And I think she was just so aroused by my charm that she needed to take a break from the Bidenator is all. A woman that beautiful, I swear you can smell them right through the phone. Wow, man, that was some of the creepiest things I've ever heard, Joe. You seriously need help. Don't talk to Joe like that, Ron. Focus on Obama, who is throwing your ass into a ladder. Oh, come on, Joe, I don't know how to counter that. I'm just mashing buttons on this controller thing. Sorry, buddy, but I'm going up this ladder for the money. Ben, get your little puss ass down from here. Get ready to fly, little bitch. Haha, <laughs> yeah, right, Joe. You're the only one that's gonna fly today, old ass man. Wait, what? Oh, no. Haha, uh -huh. oh, that was great. Good job, Ben, but get down from there. That briefcase is mine and mine alone. I'm going to use that money to fund my campaign against Joe and Ron. Like, I would let you get away with that, Ben. Come here, bud. Haha, <laughs> yeah, I don't think so, bro. Like, you could actually stop me here. See you later, Grandpa. Oh, man, how, guys, I think Ben is cheating. 
He's not cheating, Joe. You just got to get better, man. Don't worry, boys. I've got something for this little bitch boy. Oh, shit. Damn it, Nixon, you asshole. Okay, I need to get in the ring. Coward. Oh, hell no. Come here, Oompa Loompa. Hey, guys, what's up? Just taking a little breather here. Shut your old ass up. Uh, oh, no. Help me, Barry. Joe, you're a big boy. I'm not going to come running to your rescue every time you get beat up during a match, homie. Joe, because I hate the Sandemonius so fucking much, I'll come get him off your back. Nothing would please me more than to be able to actually whoop his ass in real life. Speaking of real life, how did that whole confrontation with George go? From the sound of it in the last video, it sounds like he kind of was beating your ass, Donald. He ain't beat nothing. He might have gotten a few lucky swings on me because he caught me off guard at first, but I got my licks in. He was lucky because I tripped over my ethernet cable and smashed my head against my PC and it fell over and turned off. Even broke my glass window case on at the douchebag. Even gave me a bit of a concussion. And next thing I knew, Melania was helping me up and George was on the ground holding his balls. Melania said when she heard the noise, she ran up on him and kicked him in the nuts with her high heels on. God, I love my wife. Hold that thought real quick though, because I got something cooking up for you, Obama. Trump cold stunner pussy. Wow, really Trump, I will remember that one, bro. Haha, -ha, sorry man, you guys just make it so easy. I just had to do it. But anyways, where was I? Ah, that's right, so about George. After he was done crying from getting kicked in the nuts, he went running out the house shortly after and said he won't play with all of us until me and him settle it one-on-one -on -one to decide who won the real life fight, which is why I'm gonna fight him after this. Wow, that dude really has some issues if he got that mad over a game like who really cares? Yeah, I don't know, man. I love George, but he does have a bit of an anger problem for him to actually show up to your house, Donald, and fight you over a WWE video game match. I hope after you guys have your match later that we can all go back to normal after this, though. God, I'm kind of glad I never played with you guys till now. Sounds like a whole bunch of high school type drama BS. Well, Ron, you don't have to worry about playing with us for long because Uncle Bidenator is about to get all this cash, motherfucker. Oh, hell no, Joe. Get your ass down from here. I didn't download Discord and buy this game just to lose to you in the first match I play. Oh no, why I felt like I almost had it. Come on, Ben, get your little bitch ass over here. Don't think I was gonna let you say Ron is better I'll than me earlier and just let that slide. Wow, really? So now you guys are gonna team up on me too? That's fine, clearly, if you have to do that. Then that just means you think the Ben 10 is a major threat. So I'll take it as a compliment. Yeah, keep telling yourself that, nerd. Hey, Don. Just as a heads up, George is about to join the Discord call. I guess he is getting impatient for your match with him after this. Oh shit, the drama is coming. Yes, yes, have him join now. That's fine, let him join whenever I'm ready to beat his ass so he can stop crying about all this already. Okay, bet here he comes now. What's up mofos, Georgie is here, bitches. Trump, I hope you're ready for this ass beating I got coming for you, boy. Haha, <laughs> yeah, sure, George, say, tell me how are your balls feeling, bro? Still mad that I won the last match, huh? That last match was garbage, and you know it, man. And I had to put ice on them shits for like three days. Tell your wife that was a low blow. Literally. But once I fuck you up here tonight, I'm gonna be feeling a lot better, I will tell you that. Also, I decided that for our one-on-one -on -one match, we're gonna do a backstage brawl. Oh, nice, now that's something I can get excited for. God, I hope Trump gets knocked out. Yay, guys, we need to finish this match already so we can see this. How have we not done a backstage brawl yet? That's fine by me, George. If me knocking you out in this game will make it feel better and have you stop crying like a little bitch all day, tweeting about how I robbed you of your chance of glory, then by all means, let's do it. Damn, now this I gotta see. Yeah, how could I say no to a chance to watch Trump get himself embarrassed? Well, hurry up then, guys, because I don't have all night and I just chugged seven cans of Red Bull, so I'm fucking jacked up for this fight. Say less, my man. Oh, hell no, guys. Somebody better stop, Ron, because for some reason, none of you want to be in the ring right now. And he's just laid me out, so he has a straight shot to the money. Oh, damn, okay, let me just get these clowns away from me because ain't no way I'm losing to another Republican again. Hey, who you calling a Republican, Barry? Get your ass over here. Damn it, Joe, I'm talking about Ron. Do you not see him about to win? Get off me. Oh, shit, my bad, man. Don't worry, I'll stop him. Sleepy Joe, this is why our country needs a man like me and not some confused old dumbass like you, huh? No, are you fucking kidding me, damn it, Joe? Way to go and fuck that up, Sleepy. Hey, guys, I'm sorry. I guess I should have took my nap earlier today. Man, fuck, when am I gonna actually get a win on here? Well, even though I didn't win, I still had fun, guys. Just gotta get used to playing these video games. I had a great time, and it feels great beating all of you, but I wanna see Trump and George's match, so let's get that going. Bet let's run that shit, Trump, come on. I've been waiting for this. Okay, run it, pussy. I wanna shut you up already. Man, I'm excited for this one, guys. I hope Donnie gets knocked out. 
All right, here we go. Oh shit, give me one sec, gotta change the batteries in my controller. Ha ha, I ain't waiting for shit, puss boy. You said you were so prepared, so get fucked, buddy. Wow, you bastard, that's it. I'm not pulling any punches now. Leave it to Donnie to get a cheap shot in there in the very start of the fight. Can't say any of us are really surprised. That's all right, it won't make a difference for him. Your boy George is locked in on this match. Ha, shut your little bitch ass up, George. I swear after I knock your ass out here, I don't want to hear you crying at all anymore when you lose. Ain't losing this one tonight, fatty. And if I win this fight tonight, I'm not paying to fix your PC, you cream sickle. Ha ha, okay, well, how about this then? When I win, instead of fixing my PC, you have to buy me a whole new one, fuck boy. And I want an RTX 4090 in my shit. Oh, damn, the stakes just got higher. Come on, George, you got this, bro. Yeah, George, I gotta say, even I am on your side now on this one. Mainly because I only have a 3080 and don't want Trump to have a better PC than me. I am the people's champion. I cannot possibly lose this match. I promise to win here today and damn it, I'm gonna deliver. Yes, you're the chosen one, George. Now you are kicking his ass. Why don't you go grab a chair and beat his ass with it for good measure? You know what I like the way you think, Joe? I think I might just go and do that. Damn you, Sleepy. Why don't you shut your little dementia mouth up and stop hating on me, loser? Not fair, George. Weapons aren't allowed. It's a backstage brawl. Trump weapons are definitely allowed. I'm sure if the tables were turned right now, you would be doing the same. Okay, fine, that's it. I'm about to go fucking Goku on your bitch ass, George. Oh shit, fuck no. Damn, George, get up. You got this. Ha ha ha, what happened to all that good shit you were saying now? Shouldn't have taunted me, dumbass. Knock that dumbass wig off his head, George. Ha ha. How the hell do you keep reversing everything I do? This is bullshit. Because you're ass at this game, Trump. And I'm about to finish your ass once and for all here, bro. Oh boy, get his ass, George. Get ready for the Texas Slam Puss Boy. It's one of my signature moves. Oh shit, man, this is unfair. I keep pressing reverse and I never get it. But when he does it, he gets it every single damn time. I am a god. Now time to do my finisher on you, Donald. Get ready for the Presigree bitch boy. Oh, come the fuck on, man. I swear my controller is busted or something. Don't worry, fat ass. I'm sure it will actually be broken in a sec after I hit you with a second one loser. Time to seal the deal. Fuck, you gotta be kidding me. This is bullshit. I'm calling hacks on this. Well, I guess that's that then. No, screw that. I want a war games match, George. You get a team and I get a team. Whoever wins is the real winner of this beef. Haha, <laughs> anytime, loser. Yay, I'm hyped. Now that's something I can get behind, so go assemble your teams, gentlemen. Well, until next time then. Remember, if you like this video, to like and subscribe to Lord Waff for more. Until next time. Peace, bitches. Hello, everyone. Today, we have the long-awaited War Games match with Trump and George being the captains of both their teams. This match will finally settle the beef between them. So let's try to have a good time here tonight, gentlemen. Thanks, Obama. And yes, tonight will finally prove that I am better than George in every single way possible and that he was in the wrong for what he did in the previous videos. I gotta say, I have been looking forward to this moment. We will see about that, Don. I have no intention of losing to you here tonight, and I picked my team accordingly and carefully to assure there is zero chance of you being victorious in this match. Can't wait to hear you crying when I win. Ha ha, good luck with that, George. There's no way you could possibly beat my team. I've been told that the guys I have with me tonight are the best, and I believe they truly are. I wouldn't allow any scrubs on my squad unlike you, as I have heard from some very reliable sources that you have the most sorry team that has maybe quite frankly ever been assembled. Just keep talking, Donnie man. I can't wait to shut your dumb ass up. Nothing will make me happier than hearing you break your keyboard again in rage as you watch me get the dub here tonight. I'm gonna beat you so badly that you immediately uninstall the game and drop out of the 2024 election because of the sole embarrassment you're about to feel, puss boy. Also take into consideration that since George won the one versus one match that you both had, that George's team gets the advantage here tonight with the members of his team coming out first before yours do Don. And here comes one of them now, Donnie. I think you could say you know this man very well. Okay, who is the sorry bastard that has to go up against the Donald? Who else would it be but your boy himself, Donald? It is me. I joined up with George considering you didn't even try asking me if I wanted to be on your squad. Which I gotta say is kinda fucked up, man. Considering all we have been through making all these videos together. Oh, don't you start crying now too, Obama? It wasn't personal, it was just necessary to improve my chances of winning. Now thanks for the table, bro. I will use this against you little bitch-ass crybabies to get a nice head start on my road to the win. Wow, that honestly feels even more personal now considering you think I would hold you back so I will enjoy helping George out here. Yeah, let's jump this fat-ass orange clown, Barry. Haha, <laughs> try your best fuck, boys. It won't help you here. 
I've basically already won this match the second I walked into the ring, so you are just delaying my sweet, sweet victory. I'm like Thanos in this bitch. I am inevitable. Man, you really are an ass, aren't you, Donald? Never have I met someone blinded by their own ego as much as you. Donnie, I gotta say, George has a point. You do brag a bit much. Shit is honestly kind of sad, man. Sad? What's sad is that I'm holding my own against the two of you at the same time. Maybe get good and then you guys can talk. Uh, you know what? There's just no talking to you, bro. Looks like I will have to let my actions speak for themselves instead of my words. I'm gonna humble your dumb ass in front of everyone tonight, Don. Well, look at this, boys. Your time of having your little two versus one against me is over. Now, Cower, as one of the elite members of my team, enters the ring. That's right, motherfuckers. The Ben 10 is here, and I'm going to finally get a win here tonight. Trump, I will say I am surprised that you picked me to be a part of your squad tonight, as I thought you honestly did not like me. But I have to thank you for noticing my potential, and I vow I will not let you down. This is your elite team, Trump, fucking Ben. Man, why don't you just hand the victory right to me at this point? Hey, shut your ass up, George. Ben, I will tell you this now that I honestly think you are super annoying and I can't stand to listen to your voice. But I have noticed how you take all of these matches seriously. And I know that you practice as much as you can on your off time, which is the exact reason why I recruited you to be here with me tonight. Well, thanks, I guess, Donnie. I have been itching to finally get a win in our series we have had here forever now. So I'm excited to finally prove my worth tonight, especially in a War Games match. I have been wanting to do one of these forever. That's crazy that you don't actually have a win yet considering even Joe has one when he did that match with Ice Spice. Aha, uh -huh, yeah. And if I recall correctly, Trump lost that match too. Must be hard living with the thought of having been beaten by Joe Donald, considering he can barely ever stay awake long enough to finish one. That match was fucking bullshit and everyone knows it. Only reason why he even won was because Ice Spice carried his ass. And from what she told me, she had to block him on all her social media accounts because he kept commenting that he wished he could smell her through his phone on all of her pictures. Regardless, he has been practicing this game a lot lately and is trying to improve at it every day. Which is why when I was creating my team, I decided that he would be a welcome fit to our squad. Speaking of Joe, here he is now. What's up, guys? The Bidenator is here, and tonight I'm not fucking around. I drank three Monster Energy drinks and I got Jill making me some espresso as we speak so that I'm awake and ready to fuck up Trump squad tonight. Ha ha, oh my God, please tell me you're joking, George. You got fucking sleepy on your team. Man, this is just too good. Laugh now, Donnie, but he has been practicing every day and he really is getting decent at this game. Not to mention he has beaten you in a match here, regardless if you say it counts or not. Yeah, and I beat you last election, Donald, so hold this L, fuck boy. Now get ready because I'm about to hit you with the Joe Splash. Joe, get your dementia having bitch ass down from there before you hurt yourself, Grandpa. All right then, Joe Splash. Damn good shit, Joe. I knew I made a good choice when I picked you, buddy. I could really use some help over here, Donald. These guys are kind of kicking my ass right now. Ben, shut the hell up, man. Joe just made this shit personal. Just survive, you little bitch. Wow, just goes to show how Trump treats his teammates. Won't even come help them because his ego just gets in the way. Barry, why don't you go help out Joe? I think I can handle Ben for now. Yes, please get this fucking orange gorilla off of me. Don't worry, Joey, I am here, buddy. Let's get his ass. Bring it on liberals time for me to drain the swamp. Hey, Trump, peep my new finisher, Bush Cold Stunner, motherfucker. What the fuck, man? Leave it to you to copy my move, loser. But looky here, guys, another one of the Trump team is entering the ring. You guys might recognize him from our Royal Rumble match. This guy is my secret weapon. What's up, you bunch of pussies? It's me, Heisenberg, AKA Walter White. I'm ready to destroy anyone who dare stand up to me. Oh man, not him again, guys. I gotta say, he honestly kind of creeps me out. Good, Joe. You are smart to fear me. Because nothing matters to me except for winning. I have nothing to fucking lose, and I want to inflict as much pain as I possibly can on all of George's team. Starting with you, George. Man, never thought I would be glad to see you again, Walt. Considering I lost in the Royal Rumble. But I needed a chance to rest up for a second here. Shut up, Ben, you little nerd. I'm not here to help you, I'm here to hurt George. You are simply just in my way, so stay out of it. Wow, okay, nice talking to you too, man. What's wrong, Trump? You're not looking too hot here, buddy. Uh, typical Democrats talking shit when it's two on one. Don't worry about me, drone boy, I'm doing just fine, I assure you. To think you actually believe that what you're doing is phasing me is hilarious. Yeah, seeing them think they actually stand a chance is cute. Get ready, guys, because Walt is on this side now. You know what? I'm not scared of you, Walt. I'm going to stand up to you, buddy. The Bidenator is a man who shouldn't be underestimated. Shit, guys, I might need some help over here on my side. 
You might just have to hold up for now, George. We kind of have our hands tied here at the moment. Oh my God, okay, it should be all right because it looks like the final member of our team is about to come into the ring. Looks like you could use all the help you can get, George. Man, I did not think this would be so easy. And just think, I don't even have my whole team in the ring yet either. And you started out with the advantage. Man, you are just pathetic. Don't get too cocky so soon, Trump, because your boy JFK is up in this bitch. After what happened in the Royal Rumble match, I have been dying to get back in the ring. So thank you, George, for inviting me to play on your team tonight. Wow, so that's why you never called me back when I tried to invite you onto my squad, John. Okay, I see how it is. Yes, it was my idea to get you, John, because you were the only one who could stop me at our Royal Rumble match. It pains me to see you are on the other team here tonight. Sorry, Ben, but when I heard that Barry and Joe were signed up with George already, I had to join the Dream Team. And now I am proud I did because I wanted another chance to get my revenge on Walt over here. Regardless, it won't help you that you have John George. But I'm going to skip ahead in this video to where my final man of my team enters the ring. That's fine by me. I would like to see who the last loser on your side is. I can assure you this man is anything but a loser, George. You got that right, Donnie. It's me motherfuckers, the top G. I have been waiting a long time for this match. And I'm grateful for the final spot on your team, Trump. Oh, wow. Cool. It's the top G, Barry. This guy is really cool. I signed up for your Hustlers University, Mr. Tate, though I will say I haven't really noticed any results yet, and I get too sleepy to watch through all the videos. Oh, God damn it, Joe. That's okay, Joe. Just keep giving me your money, and I promise you will get results eventually because becoming successful takes hard work and, most importantly, time. But I didn't come here to be buddies with you. Tonight, I am here to help my boy Donald out. Well, now that everyone is finally here, I guess we can actually get down to business now. Let's see who comes out on top here. I'll say watching the previous videos, I will be happy to see this beef between Trump and Bush over with because I just want all of us to be boys. Yeah, same here, man. So no matter the outcome, you guys better be cool after this because I want to continue to make these videos with everyone. Also, I'm getting kind of sleepy, guys, so let's hurry this thing along because Jill said she's going to tuck me into bed in 15 minutes. God, you are a sad excuse of a man, Joe. Having your wife tuck you into bed at 8 p.m. like some little kid. God, you're such a pussy. I will enjoy breaking you here tonight. I'm gonna break you bad. That is it, Walt. I have had enough of your shit, man. I'm gonna fuck you up here now, pal. I didn't like you in Shameless that much anyway, so stop thinking you are so cool, man. Joey, I love you, bud, but he wasn't in Shameless, man. He was in Breaking Bad, remember? I think it might be time for Sleepy to go to bed here. It's okay, Sleepy. I'm sure your team would be better off if you just logged out, bro. Don't let them talk to you like that, Joey. I got something for them. Joe Splash, bitches. Oh, shit. Damn, Walt, it's okay, man. You just gotta shake it off. Good shit there, Joey. I knew you had it in you, man. Now let's keep this up, boys. Haha, -ha, yeah, shut your dumb ass up, John. You joined the wrong team, bro. Now it's time for my revenge, George. Trump cold stunner, pussy. Ah, oh, shit. No, guys, I might need some help here. I think we are all a bit wrapped up right now, man. Just don't get pinned. Oh, don't worry, George. I won't finish you quite yet. Let's have everyone get into the same ring. Let's finish this with one giant brawl. Haha, <laughs> okay, bet let's do this then. Come on, George, let me show you why they call me the top G. I was a kickboxing champion after all. Oh, fuck me, guys. This is seriously not looking too good. We gotta all give this everything we got if we are gonna walk out of here with the win tonight. Haha, -ha, good shit, Andrew. My man, I knew you were a good choice. And don't worry, George, after I win here tonight, I'm gonna throw a huge party in Marilargo to celebrate this massive victory. And after recover from the elite tier hangover that is sure to follow after that, we can all go back to being friends. Oh, uh, don't forget about me, guys. I'm coming. Just got jumped by Barack and John for a while there. Nobody worry about me or anything. Damn, sometimes I forget you're even here, Ben. Haha. <laughs> it's okay, Ben. You made for a good distraction, which is kind of what I was planning on for you here, to be honest, because nobody can stand to hear your voice. So I knew they would focus on shutting you up while the rest of us took care of business. Now let's all focus on one of them so we can secure a pin here. Okay, I'm going for George. I'm tired of hearing this man talk shit. Time for you to go to sleep, old man. Oh, fuck no. Ha ha, yes, 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 I won, I won. We fucking did it, guys, yes. The Donald is the fucking winner. I knew it would happen. Oh, Georgie, I'm sorry you had to take such a hard L, man. But let's say that this beef is finally over, bud. Fuck, man, are you kidding me? This is so disappointing. I really thought for a while there that we had this in the bag. And okay, Trump... I suppose for now we can say the beef is settled for the sake of making more of these WWE videos. But don't think you have seen the last of me here. Sorry we couldn't pull in the win for you here tonight, George, but at least now we can get past all this petty bullshit and move forward from here. Yeah, it's a bummer, man, but Jill was right about to come into my room and tell me to call it a night, so it's good that it ended now. 
And don't worry, though, we will have plenty of more exciting moments for you to get some payback later on, man. Yeah, well, guys, as fun as this was, it's time for me to go celebrate. Thanks to my team here tonight. You are all invited, of course, so get your asses down here. And if you like this video, drop a like and subscribe to Lord Waff for more. I hear he has some great ideas for the next chapter in this series. Until the next video, peace, bitches. All right, everyone, I know it's been a while since our last video, and I apologize for the wait. You can all blame Lord Waff for being lazy. But today we have a great match for you, which will be a championship match with me against Roman Reigns, so I can take his belt. I got to say, this man has had it for too long, and I look forward to dethroning him. Also, I have one of my biggest fans as my manager tonight. So everyone, welcome Mr. Kanye West here tonight. And of course, all the boys are joining the Discord, so they will all be watching and commentating on my path to victory. Yeah, thanks for having me with you here tonight, Donnie. I have to say, I don't really be playing this video game stuff. But when I saw you reached out and wanted someone in your corner, how could I possibly say no to such an honor? We can no doubt be the best manager superstar duo of all time, yay, of all time. Well, Trump, best of luck to you, I guess, even though I'm not really sure why you got Kanye as your manager. Though I will say I was a fan of his older music. The man has kind of gone off the rails lately. Gone off the rails? Obama, have you looked at your XVP? You got Sleepy Joe out here looking like a lost child looking for his mother every time he walks up on stage to give a speech. Don't try to give me any advice on who I should have in my corner. I stand corrected on that. Carry on. Hey, fuck you, Trump. At least I'm not being indicted on a shit ton of charges over here. Your ass is going to be doing your next campaign speech from inside a cell with Big Bubba whispering in your ear in the background. I'm sure they love the orange ones up in the penitentiary. Trump, I laugh at the fact that you think you even stand a chance to take my belt away from me here tonight. Just because this is a video game does not mean you have a shot whatsoever, fat boy. I'm the greatest and I'm going to shut your bitch up here soon. Christ, bro, do you really have to yell into your mic like that? And your mic quality sounds like you got that shit from Walmart. Get your money up, fuck boy. Only thing I need to get is a win on your dumb ass thinking you are some kind of WWE legend just because you cameoed for an episode or two way back in the day. I just saw your videos of you talking all this good shit saying you are the GO and I can't lie, I took that shit personal. Trump is the GOAT Roman. He is a god just like me and you are nothing but a pussy ass bitch. I might be running against Trump in this next election, but that is just because even if he were to lose and I still win, I will let him pull all the strings behind the scenes. Of course you have some absolute lunatic like ye as your supporter Trump. You do know this guy's is a racist and went on the Alex Jones show saying he was a fan of Hitler, right? Yeah, that's why I just can't fuck with him no more. Like, don't get me wrong, his older music back in the day slapped. But the shit he be on nowadays is just too much for me, man. I don't know anything about all that, guys. I'm sure it is just fake news. Did you guys see that on CNN or something, or maybe MSNBC? Because if you did, I can assure you it was not real because all the liberal media does is lie and hate on your boy. I'll have to check if Fox News said the same thing. It's all a bunch of bullshit. Donald don't listen to them. It's the liberals, dog. They are always trying to censor me and control how I'm living. That's why me and Kim didn't work out because I found out she was a liberal spy for CNN trying to slander my name. Snakes are everywhere. Man, there is no way you actually believe any of this. Donald the man is clearly a cuck. But whatever, let me get back in this ring and show you why I'm on top. Bro, seriously, why are you talking like you are actually doing a WWE interview right now? We are in Discord, bro. You can just talk normally, you fucking sped. Because I take this WWE superstar live seriously, unlike you, fatty. So I might seem a little over the top for you, Donald, but this is just how I be living my life, man. Now shut your dumb ass up and take this L, bud. You really think you can pin the Donald this easily? Get the fuck out of here with that shit, man. Don't play with me. That's all right, man. I will just beat your ass even more. Then it's no issue for me. You know, Roman, I thought Paul Heyman was supposed to join the Discord call as well because I see his character is in your corner. Where is he? Man, his dumb ass could not figure out how to make Discord work, so he is just here without his mic in. I will have to show him how to use it next time. Well, at least he is here in spirit then. Yes, he can watch as I beat your ass. Now I'm going to turn the tables on this shit. Hope you are ready because I'm going to do my finishing move and end this early. Uh, oh, you mean the one you stole from Stone Cold Steve Austin? Fucking scrub. Shut your damn mouth. Trump did not steal anything. He's an honest man. He just simply perfected it. Wow, the ref is really sleeping on this pin lull. Yeah, what the fuck? I would have won too. 
Damn liberals must have paid him off. Oh, well, time for my finisher then. Haha, <laughs> yeah, right. I was just resting up. Well, take a nap then, buddy. Trump cold stunner pussy. Oh, shit. He landed it on him. Man, that was crazy. Get up, Roman. I don't want Trump to be the first one to get a belt here. You think one stunner is going to be the end of my reign, Joe? Don't make me laugh. This is nothing. Motherfuck, you got to be kidding me. If that's how you want to play it, though, don't worry. I have plenty more. You can have Roman. Fuck him up, Trump daddy. Come here, bitch. I want to try something new. Trump cold stunner pussy. Oh, snap. That was pretty cool. Trump can't lie, but can you capitalize on that? Of course I can, Obama. Now watch this. Haha, <laughs> damn. How did that work for you, Donnie? Shut your old ass up, Sleepy Joe, before I call your wife and let her know you're on your computer past your bedtime fuckhead. Bet your ass is having trouble just keeping your eyes open for more than three hours at a time. Who the hell just joined the Discord? Hey guys, I see you already started the match. Thanks for telling me it started later than it actually did, Donald. Now I missed half of the match already. Ha ha, oh shit, I forgot I even did that get fucked, Benny boy. It's all right though, all you have missed so far is me absolutely dominating Roman over here. Get ready because you're about to see a new champion tonight. That's right, my man Donnie over here is not sweating anything that Roman has thrown his way so far. He truly is the greatest of his time. Sorry, Ben. Me and Joe were talking about inviting you before the match started, but Trump told us he already took care of it, so when you didn't show, we just assumed you were busy. And don't listen to this guy's bullshit either. He says he has been dominating this whole match, but I can assure you that is most definitely not the case. Yeah, I should have known to not listen to Donnie when he told me what time. So next time I will just reach out to Barack or Joe. I am now rooting for Roman in this match as well. Wow, don't be such a bitch about it, Ben. It was just a funny joke was all. But that's fine because I am used to being disliked by morons anyways. So what's one more? Damn, he split you open, Donald. You are not looking so good out there now. What happened, man? I'm fine, Joe. I'm not even stressing it. Just a little cut is all. Oh, well, Donald, if you are not even stressing it, then how about I give you something more to think about then, bitch? Oh, shit. Hell yeah. That's my tribal chief. Wow. wow. Oh, shit. Fuck no. Damn, Donald, don't let him finish you like this, man. This is not how it's supposed to end. You're right, Kanye. Get the fuck off me, loser. You have got to be fucking kidding me. How the hell did you kick out of that? This game is clearly broken because nobody should be able to kick out after that. This is some dumb fucking shit right here, man. For real, I really thought this shit was over with that. Now I'm worried if Trump managed to get his ass out of that situation, could he really be the man to win a belt first between us here, boys? Don't jump to conclusions so soon, Joe. He is still going to have to do something pretty incredible here to beat Roman after that. Oh, don't you boys worry. I have more than what it takes to bounce back from that minor setback. That shit was nothing to a real man like me. We shall see Trump don't talk too soon, though, buddy. I feel like whenever one of us does that, it doesn't end too well. You wouldn't want me and Joe to get a belt before you considering the next matchup. Me and Joe are going to go for the tag team belts. Yeah, yeah, whatever, man. What is this bullshit Paul is making his character distract me? Because unlike your manager, mine is actually useful. Now it's time to shut your ass down, you ugly fat fuck. Ah, oh, shit, come on, man. I should have had the counter there, man. And don't hate on Kanye, he is a good supporter of mine and I won't listen to you bash him. Yeah, whatever, Donald, it's time to put an end to your ass, now get up. How are you gonna end me? Your weak ass spear didn't even work last time. Well, why don't I just see how you do with another one then, bitch boy? Ha ha, yeah, right, take this fucker. What the, oh fuck. Holy shit, yes, finish him, Roman. No Trump man, get your ass up. Ha ha, fuck, yeah, you're done, Donnie. Shut up, let me focus. Fuck, you gotta be kidding me, this is fucking bullshit. You guys wouldn't shut the hell up and I couldn't concentrate. Shut your ass up, loser. Take the L like a man and practice some more and try again next time. I'll take you on any time, pussy. It's okay, Trump. You tried, man. I mean, you are fighting Roman Reigns, so it's not crazy that you lost on the first try. But me and Joe are going to be ready for our tag team match, since Lord Woff has been slacking and taking forever to make new videos. We have had plenty of time to practice. Yeah, Donnie, it's all right, man. We will just go over our strategy for when you are ready for a rematch. I think I have a good idea in mind. Uh, whatever, I would be lying if I didn't say I'm disappointed in the outcome here tonight. But let me know what your plan is, ye, in our private Discord, and we can plan my comeback, I guess, until then. Peace, bitches. Hello, everybody. Today, we have a special match for you all. Donald was salty about his recent loss for the belt against Roman Reigns and did not want to watch me and Joe get our chances at the Tag Team Championship before he got his belt. So he made a deal that if I beat him in a mixed gender tag match that he would finally shut up and allow me and Joe to have our chance at a title. Tonight I have with me my lovely and beautiful wife Michelle. And Donald has the great Trish Stratus with him. Ladies, thank you for joining us. Thanks, Barry. I have been honestly excited to try this out with you as I have been watching all of your videos and I really want a chance to shut Donald up. 
Yeah, yeah, whatever, Michelle. You won't be able to do a damn thing against me and Trish here. She is an actual WWE legend. And though this might be a video game, she has a natural talent for winning matches. And I have the most confidence that we will walk out of here victorious so I can get my rematch against Roman. Nobody wants to see Joe and Barry here fight for the tag team belt anyways. You're damn fucking right about that, Donald. Nobody wants to watch those scrubs lose a title shot when they could watch a man as great as you actually win a match. We are gonna fuck these bitches up tonight, and I'm the girl you need in your corner to help get it done. Ah, uh, see what I mean? Now that's a ride or die type bitch right there. Man, it's great to be me. Hope you're ready, Barry, because you're gonna be leaving disappointed. Whatever. Oh yeah, also we have Joe and Ben in the Discord call as well watching, so they can put some insight into this. Yes, sir, you know I'm here for you, Barack. Fuck this orange soda looking fuck up. Love you too, Michelle. Yeah, thanks for letting me watch, guys. Uh, I'm gonna stay neutral in this one for now, but I'm hyped to see how it plays out. Yeah, whatever scrubs, let's do this shit, bitch. Gladly, bitch, bring your little ass here. Damn, baby, that's what I'm talking about. Start it off strong. Not fair, Obama. Your girl is the size of a fucking Hall of Fame NFL linebacker. If you don't want that smoke, then you should have just let my man have his title match then orange boy. Shut your big ass up, bitch. I can put down bitches bigger than you. We are not scared out here. Time to let my boy Donald here show you what he is about. Bet let's do this shit, drone boy. Oh, snap, here we go. Fuck his ass up, Barry. You really thought I would just let you say shit about my wife and let that shit slide? Sorry, Donnie, but you fucked up for that boy. Oh, damn, Obama is not playing right now. You better get ready, Donald, because he wants that belt shot. Maybe he even wants it more than you do. Shut you little nerd ass up, Ben. Ain't nobody offer you a title shot because your scrawny ass wouldn't even put up much of a fight. That's why you're sitting on the sidelines, little boy. Let the men handle business. You're right. Looks like a real man is handling biz right now, Donnie. Get his ass, baby. Now let me be clear, Donald. I will get that shot at the title with me and Joe for the tag team championship. And you're just an obstacle in my way. So fuck out of here. Oh, what are you gonna do? Fuck! Hell yeah, get fucked, Donald. Not only am I going to destroy you in this next election, but I'm going to bask in the sweet, sweet glory and bragging rights of winning a title before you. Man, life is good. So good, I think I'm going to have Jill take me to go get some ice cream after this. I might even awkwardly sniff any women's hair that is in the ice cream shop while I'm there. Ah, good times. Man, what the actual fuck is wrong with this guy? I can be the only one that just heard that. It's okay, Trish. That's just Joe being Joe. He kind of just slips in and out of sanity sometimes. Damn it, Obama, get the hell off me. I am not getting timed out here. And Ben don't make excuses for that fucking cucky is creepy as fuck, man. We might all be so-called friends, but at the end of the day, let's call him what he is. A fucking creep. Yeah, right. Who are you to talk, Donald? Have you not watched the news lately? What about Stormy Daniels, huh? Or what about the whole grab her by the pussy statement? Fake news? All just liberal media trying to make me look bad. You can't believe any of that shit. I would recommend only getting your accurate news about me from my Twitter. I tell it how it really is, and it's all fact-checked by me myself. How's that for a fact-check, fat boy? You're about to lose this match. Not fair, I was distracted. Don't worry, Trump, I got you. I didn't learn how to play this game just to lose this early on. Wow, that's some bullshit, man. Trish, thank you, sweetheart. I'm glad I picked you to be on my team. I'm gonna have to buy you a new microphone, though, because clearly you have the same one that Roman had in our last video, because your mic sounds like absolute ass. Thank you, baby. I would appreciate that because I bought a cheap one from CVS for like 10 bucks. Went to Best Buy, but had no clue about any of that nerd shit. Donald, are you really okay with her calling you baby and shit here? What about your wife, Melania? How would she feel if she heard this? Yeah, Trump kind of sus, my boy. You're going to get that ass beat if your wife ever watches these videos. Man, now that is something I would pay money to see. Well, if you all should know, Melania understands how much of a ladies' man I am and how irresistible women find me. So she is totally cool with it, considering it is literally out of my control. Kind of like how getting choke slammed is out of your control too, huh? Go nighty night, buddy. Man, fuck not fair, I was distracted again. Oh uh, yeah, right, always coming up with excuses, Donald. Just accept your defeat, man. Oh, this isn't over yet, Joe. Tag me in, babe, I want another go at this bitch. Gladly, bitch, you literally have no chance against me here. You might have size, but I am a WWE legend, and I wouldn't let some joke like you come up in my house and do shit. Man, she is not playing any games here, boys. God, she is so hot. Now that is the definition of a bad bitch right there, guys. Man, if only I wasn't married. Man, Trump, it would be a real shame if someone were to send your wife this video. We might just have to make that happen, Joe. But as long as he honors the agreement tonight that when we win, that you and Barry here can have your title match in the next video, I think we can let it slide. 
Yeah, except you actually have to win for that to happen, bitch. And sorry, but everyone would rather see my man Donald here have his rematch against Roman Reigns. Nobody cares about your washed up husband or that senile loser Joe get real. I would like to propose another idea. What about letting me have a shot at the belt with Roman? I really have been practicing and I believe I would stand a far greater chance against him than Trump would. Maybe we could even have a one-on-one -on -one match with me versus Trump in any type of match of his choosing to decide who gets to go after Roman next. Ha ha, yeah, right, pussy. You actually think you should get a chance against Roman before I do? You would literally stand no chance. Fuck out of here. Now, now, Trump, I think Ben might be onto something here. Now, hear me out. I would like to raise the stakes of this match we are having right now. I propose that if me and Michelle win tonight, that the same result of me and Joe having the tag team title match for the next video stands. But I would also like to add that if we win, you have to face Ben one-on-one -on -one in a match type of your choosing to decide who gets to go after Roman next. But if you win tonight's match, me and Joe will no longer go for the tag team title at all. Whoa, whoa, wait, Barry, what? That's crazy, man. That is too big of a gamble. Yeah, babe, are you sure you want to make that bet? That's a huge risk. Ha, ah, yeah, especially considering I'm beating your wife's ass this exact moment. Kind of ballsy, bro. I gotta say I respect it, though. Now just trust me here. As president, I learned that sometimes you need to take a more risky approach on things to get what is best for you and everyone else. So I think that this would be a perfectly fair bet. Besides, I'm sure Donald here is not scared to up the ante a bit, right? Ha ha, scared? Fucking never. You got yourself a deal, Obama. I mean, what would be better than me getting a belt before you guys and then the icing on the fucking cake when you guys can't even compete for one? And on top of that, even if I lost, all I would have to do is beat Ben. Fuck it, him all in. Let's do it. Oh, hell yes. Thank you so much, guys. This is the exact kind of moment I have been waiting for. I promise I won't let you down. I'm going to train every day so that he has absolutely zero chance against me. Oh, boy, Barry, I seriously hope you know what you're doing right now. I mean, if we lose our rights to go after the tag team title, I'm actually going to cry, man. I probably won't even eat ice cream for like a whole week. Well, sorry to break it to you, Joe, but I'm about to end your chances right here and now, dumbass. Time for a little satisfaction. Oh shit, you gotta get out of this, babe. Fuck, I can't, it won't let me do anything, Barry. Ha ha, yes, in this shit, Trish, man, you really made that bet at the best time for me, Obama? Oh man, no, I can't watch. Please, Michelle, you gotta pull through. Ha ha, this bitch is done, Ben, sorry, loser. No, I won't let you take this from my husband. Fuck off me, slut. Yes, yes, hell yes, Michelle, that's what the hell I'm talking about, man. We are still in this. Damn, you just don't give up, do you? No matter, I'll just have to break you until there's no chance of you getting up. Oh, no, not again, babe. You really got to counter this one. Ha ha. Yes, this is it. End it, Trish. Well, Obama, it was nice knowing you, bud. Don't worry. Maybe I will let you hold my belt for me when I'm walking into the ring during my future matches. No, fuck that. I'm not done. You won't win tonight, Donald. Man, what the hell is up with you? Why won't you just stay down? Let's see how you do against this. No, Trish, let Obama and Trump battle it out one last time. Unless you're afraid he will throw the match, that is. Ah, oh, yeah, right. Come tag me in, sweetheart. Let's do this shit. Uh, whatever. Let this be our final battle, Obama. I gotta go play Diablo 4 with Bush in a bit, so let's end this shit, shall we? Gladly, Trump, time for me to end you. Yeah, fucking right. I've been saving this one for you all night, bro. Get ready. Man, do I love doing this shit on you guys? Trump cold stunner pussy? Oh, man, no, Michelle. You have to help him. Or try to grab the rope, Barack. I can't lose my shot. Thanks for the idea, Ben. I already told you, Trump, I am not losing my shot at getting the title with Joe here. You mine as well. Let our girls battle this out because no matter what you do to me, I will not lose you, understand? Man, Barry, I fucking love you, bro. You seriously making me tear up right now. God, what is this pussy shit? But fine, if you want to let the women decide our fate here tonight, I'm fine with that. I know my girl Trish has got this, so fuck it, let's do it then. Haha, <laughs> yes, Donnie, baby, let's go. Come on, bitch, I'm gonna send you and your lame-ass husband home crying. I'm done letting you talk about my man like this. You're about to realize just how hard you messed up now. No mercy, bitch. Yes, there you go, Michelle. This is some straight-up poetic stuff right here. Man, this has me fired up for my chance to shine. Well, get ready for that moment, Ben, because I'm ending this right here and now. You know what, Michelle? I think this is the perfect moment to do that Fincher you got. Take home the gold. Wait, what all shit? I didn't even notice she had her finisher ready this whole time. That's why you wanted the women to fight you, Snake. Oh God, Donald, I can't. Ha <laughs> ha, yes, they fell right into the trap, Barry. Good shit, bro. Fuck no. You have to be actually kidding me now. I have to watch you guys do your stupid tag match and beat Ben. This is some straight bullshit. Yes, you did it, babe. We won. This is amazing. Ha <laughs> ha, I did it all for you, Barack. If it makes you happy, then it makes me happy. Plus, seeing Trump upset is a nice bonus. Well, I'll say one thing you made me happy here tonight. 
I'm going to go, guys. I'm going to go practice right now for my match with Donald. Yeah, I'm going to go too, guys. Jill is taking me to get ice cream to celebrate. See you at our match, Barry. And thanks, Michelle. Sorry, Donald. We tried, but they got us in the end. It's okay, Trish. You're still smoking hot, so it's all good. I'm going to go. Later. Well, until next time, then. Subscribe to Lord Waffs to see how the story plays out. Until then, peace, bitches. All right, guys, it's been a while since we last played WWE together, and I figured it's time we got back to it. So today we are going to have a tornado tag team match to determine who is going to decide the next match. Now, since it's been a while since we last played, I decided to take upon the burden of giving myself the WWE Intercontinental Championship belt. We all know I deserve it, and I will wear it so strongly and more handsomely than anyone else before I can promise you. Whoa, whoa, wait, what the fuck? Since when do you just get to give yourself a belt? Especially after we just dropped this game completely for months. That's some straight up Republican type bullshit right there. Come on, man. Also, you haven't even told us who your tag team partner is, so we don't even know what we are walking into here. Yeah, honestly, I gotta agree with Joe here, Donnie. Why do you think it's all right for you to just start off with a belt right out the gate? When it comes to who your partner is, stop acting so scary, Joe. You know Donnie and whoever he is bringing with him don't stand a chance against us Blue State Boys. The Blue State Boys? What is that your lame-ass tag team name? Honestly, gotta say it's not complete shit, but you could have done better. But my reasoning for having the belt is because if we didn't quit playing this game before, I would have beat Roman Reigns and took this shit from him anyways. And if you don't think I deserve it, then I will up the stakes of this match and vacate the title if I lose tonight. And as for my partner, I will say he is a true businessman just like myself. Most of America will probably tell you they think he is a douche, but I gotta say, after watching what he has done in the WWE in such a short career, I am really a fan. In fact, why don't I just let him introduce himself? Hey, yo, what's good, everybody? It's your man Logan Paul here. I'm joining up with my boy Donald here tonight to help him get this easy dub against the Blue State Boys. Donald, thanks again for showing all your support for my workout drink, Prime. Glad to see you enjoy it so much, my dude. Oh, God, you gotta be fucking kidding me. Prime? What is that? I've never heard of it. I know Fox News always likes to say I'm way past my prime, but since when could you drink prime? Will this make me young again? Joe, you fucking dingus. It's an energy drink that I have to say tastes absolutely delicious. And it gives you the energy of a young 21-year-old Trump. Man, I gotta say, I drank some last night and must have went at least 12 rounds with Melania. Had her calling me the presidential cheek clapper, if you know what I mean. Yeah, Joe, just stay in your lane, little guy. You would probably have to drink at least a case of Prime daily just to even keep your eyes open during a five-minute speech, let alone do what my boy Donald does. My God, for fuck's sake, you couldn't have gotten anybody else, Trump. You're really gonna make us listen to this punk bitch this whole match? What's wrong, Obama? You gonna puss out? Because by all means, go ahead. Though that will just be a forfeit and a W for me and Logan here. Hell no. In fact, just skip the walkouts and start the match because I want to end this shit as soon as possible now. Oh, gladdy bro, but I promise you that you don't want the smoke. Man, I'm going to enjoy shutting you up, fat ass. But first, I want to get some get back on this little snowflake Logan here for saying I'm out of my prime. Shut your ass up, pussy. You got to get past Big Daddy T first. Just like the current approval ratings, I'm going to trump over you. Ha ha, see what I did there? Oh, fuck, come on, man. Damn, Joe, what happened, dog? Looks like you can talk the talk, but can't really walk the walk, bruh. Even though watching you on TV, it seems you can't even talk the talk half the time. You just mumble, bro. Just give up now, because all you are doing is Biden time, bitch. Ha ha ha. Damn it, Joe. We can't let them talk to you like that, my guy. Why don't you take Logan and I will handle Donnie for now? Oh, what's that you want? Some of the Donald, do you drone, boy? Well, run it then, pussy. Let's make this quick, though, because I just chugged three bottles of Prime and Melania's waiting for round 13. Gotta go give her some executive action. Ha ha ha, hell yeah, that's my boy. For fuck's sake, Joe, where are you? I'm getting tag teamed harder than Lena the plug at a BLM rally right now. Have no fucking fear, the Bidenator is here. Shit, get your old ass off me, man. Donald, help me out, bro. This creepy fuck's got me. Come on, dude, just deal with it, Logan. He is an 81-year-old man with dementia, for fuck's sake. Besides, I have bigger fish to fry right now. How about I go after Obama instead? Joe honestly creeps me out. Yeah, sure, whatever. Just hurry this the hell up, because I got to go give Melania the Trump Tower, you feel me? I swear this prime is like Viagra mixed with crack and Red Bull. Bro, stop the cap, Donnie. You know that shit tastes like complete ass, my guy. Tried that shit one time and wanted to immediately wash my mouth out with bleach just to get the awful taste out my mouth. Oh, hell no, fuck that now. You done made me upset. We are going to go jump your buddy Joe for that now. 
Yeah, right. Bring it on, young man. I used to take on scarier guys than you when I used to walk 80 miles to school back in 1844 in 109-degree weather. Oh, God, his dementia is kicking in. Let's just beat his ass. Barry, you got to help me, man. I'm getting a little overwhelmed over here. Don't worry, little buddy. The O-bomber is coming. I will deliver nothing short of sweet justice and pain to our opponents. Trump cold stunner pussy. Shut that shit the hell up talking about justice and pain. Go nighty night liberal. Though I will say that attempt of some actual WWE role play was quite good. Too bad you lack the skill to actually match up to me. I won't let you talk to my best friend like that fat boy. I'm tired of always being your punching bag, Donald. Time to stand up for myself. You all good, Donald? I'm coming to back you up, homie. Oh, shit, it ain't nothing, man. Joe here is just cranky and needed to take a little nap. Why don't you try that with me, Donnie? Gladly, drone boy. I'll get all UFC on your ass while I'm at it. I, for one, actually love the UFC. We should actually make a video sometime playing that game. Would love to beat your asses on something new. All right, bet I would be down for that. I'll ask Michelle to get it for me for Christmas because I don't want to spend my own money on that shit, though. I don't like giving EA my hard-earned money. I don't know, man. I'm not sure Jill will be cool with me playing that game. I read it has a lot of blood in it. Don't worry, Joe. You're about to have a lot of blood all over your face here soon as well. You can just show her it's nothing you're not used to seeing. Man, I am fucking you up, boy. That's it. I'm tired of this little sissy fuck trying to act tough with the Bidenator. Take this pussy. Uncle Biden wants to get a whiff of your hair. Oh, shit, shit, shit. No, get away from me. I'm getting out of here. Joe, just calm down now. I'm a charging up my finishing move. Get ready for the Biden blaster, bitch. Yes, finish that little sissy fuck, Joe. Oh, shit, Big Daddy T saved me. Oh, my God. Calm down, you wuss. How are you going to let Joe almost pin you, bro? Don't make me regret picking you to be on my team. The Donald does not associate with losers. Only winners over here. I'm sorry, man. He just caught me off guard. I promise I won't let it happen again. See to it that it doesn't or else we might have some real problems here. I didn't come back to this game just to lose to some weak liberals. They are almost as weak as that fat, pathetic slob Chris Christie. Man, I really hate that bozo. Haha, <laughs> yeah, he is always shit-talking you so hard at all the most recent debates. Maybe I should invite him to the Discord call so you can tell him how much you really like him. Oh, hell yes, I'm gonna do it now. Joe, I swear to fucking God, if you invite that loser... Too late, he he. What's up, bitches? It's the big man Chrissy and this motherfucker. Trump, my guy, heard you were talking all that good shit. Well, I'm standing on business. My boy, we can run it whenever. You gotta be shitting me, Joe. I'm gonna beat your ass next time I see you, asshole. And for you, Christy, why don't you just get out of here, you fat fuck? Probably got Cheeto dust all over your fingers as we speak. If you're really looking for an issue, though, I will gladly fuck your shit up. Download WWE 23 and we can shoot the ones, my guy. All right, bet I can do that. Man, the fact that you are not in jail right now amazes me. What kind of match do you want to run? Well, since Donnie is currently in a match with us right now, and the winner of this match gets to decide what we do next. I don't think he is really at liberty to choose that right now. But once we win, Donald will more than gladly take you on in whatever match wants you, Donnie. Of course I will. I'm not scared of anyone. Especially not this obese bowling ball looking bastard from New Jersey. Bowling ball, huh? Don't act like you are athletic Donnie boy. Most I have seen you do is play golf and even old women can do that. But I will gladly take you on doing whatever. Just let me know the time and place. It will just be the icing on the cake to beat you here. And then when I soon get the nomination for the Republican Party's presidential candidate, it will all be too sweet. Bro, you actually think you have even a slight chance beating me in the polls is just cute. But okay, it's on fucker. Once I'm done here, I will shut your ass up for good. Now please boot this fuck out of the Discord call. He is distracting me. Haha, <laughs> no need, I gotta go now anyways. My dinner's about to get cold. Be seeing you soon, Donald. Fat fuck. My bad, Donnie, I hope you are not actually too mad at me. I thought it would just be entertaining to see what he had to say. Honestly, it's all good, bro. That guy is just a total clown. It will be funny to hear what he has to say after I have a match with him. Yeah, well, if we win here tonight, we will be the ones who decide on what match it's going to be. We shouldn't do a one-on-one -on -one yet, though, because a lot of the other guys we have been playing with are itching to get back in the ring. Yeah, the real word there is if you guys win. I don't plan on losing on my debut match playing with you guys. Shut the hell up, Logan. Nobody's talking to you. Damn, Barry, chill out. My guy Logan is all right, man. And I do say I agree with not having a 1v1 because I still have a lot of scores to settle with a few of the guys we played with previously. Yeah, like Roman Reigns, maybe. Unless you're scared of him, that is LOL. That's it, Bruce Willis. I'm about to give you the business. 
Trump cold stunner pussy. Oh shit, this isn't good. But I'm not done yet, you piece of shit. How dare you talk shit about Bruce Willis? That man was a legend. The Die Hard movies were peak. No cap, Die Hard 1 is an absolute classic, Donnie. Yeah, sure, whatever you say, bro. Look, though, why don't you guys just give up already? Only so many Trump cold stunners you can take until you're out cold. Also, Melania told me I need to hurry up soon or else I ain't getting none tonight. Yeah, man, I got to get ready to go do a podcast soon, too, man. Plus, my prime is wearing off and I need to go get more. Not like you guys ever stood much of a chance here tonight anyways. I mean, you do know I actually am in the WWE, right? Plus, Donnie here also had a few cameos in it as well. We are true professionals. Nobody gives a shit if you're in the WWE or not, pussy. That doesn't mean shit to us. I will be damned if Trump walks away here with this bullshit belt he just decided to up and give himself. The Blue State boys are not laying down for anybody. You're goddamn right about that, Joey. I don't have shit to do, so if time is an issue for you guys, then why don't you just give up instead? Because me and Biden here got all night. Haha, <laughs> yeah, right, no shot, we aren't giving up for shit. I have been whooping your asses this whole time. I will be damned if I lose to a Democrat. You say that like you have never lost to one of us before. Don't tell me you have forgotten about the last presidential election. Yeah, if I recall, Donnie, I am the current president of the United States of America, bitch. And I plan on winning again in the next election, too. You fucking cheated during that election, and you know it, Joe, so don't even try that shit with me. And all of that won't matter anyways, because I'm coming for your ass next year, and it's going to be such a glorious victory for me and the rest of all of our great, great country. That's exactly my point is, me and Donnie here are just naturally better than you guys. We don't need to cheat to try and win, we just win because it's in our nature. The only thing natural for you is being a little sissy bitch, Logan. Donald, please tell me you are never going to invite him again after this match. Yes, please, because I would honestly rather listen to Ben Shapiro's voice any day over this spoiled brat. I won't be making any promises here, guys. If Logan shows me tonight that he can stand with the big dogs, then why wouldn't I keep him around as a strong ally on the Trump team? And screw Ben, that dude is hella annoying. Wow, thanks, Donald. You're a real one for that, my dude. I swear I won't let you down, man. Oh, how sweet. Joe, let's end these two lovers already. I can't stand listening to this shit anymore. With pleasure, because I am getting pretty sleepy, guys. I can't even lie. I feel like I am starting to nod off a little bit. Oh, God, for fuck's sake, Joe. Just stay awake a bit longer, man. I've almost got my fincher. All I got to do is catch them with it, and I guarantee we win this. I'm trying, Barry, but Jill heated up some warm milk for me and is about to start reading me my nightly bedtime stories. Man, just the thought of it is making me sleepy. Ha ha, oh man, this is just too great. I swear you idiots just always make it so easy for me. Joe, if you want a tip on how to stay awake, start counting sheep in your head. I promise it helps, ha ha. Trump, shut up. Time for an Obama bomb, bitch boy. Oh fuck, he caught me slipping. Logan, get your ass in here now. Don't worry, bro, I'm on my way. Didn't come this far just to lose like this. Damn, you gotta be kidding me, that would have been it. That's it, I'm taking you on, Trump. Joe, take Logan, I'm gonna beat Trump down until he can't move anymore. Then we will tag Team Logan. Uh, what, okay, yeah, sure. I'm fighting to keep my eyes open right now, man. Ha ha, yes, you hear that, Obama? Sounds like sleepy, creepy Uncle Joe is on his last legs here. Logan, this is it, finish Joe off. By the time Obama here can do anything, it will be too late. You got it, Donnie, here it goes, man. Ah, shit, no, 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 Joe, get up, man, I won't make it. <laughs> Fuck! Ha ha. Yes, looks like that's a dub for your boy Donald and Logan here, Obama. I knew Joe would fall asleep and give up an easy win. Looks like I get to decide what match we do next. And looks like I will be holding on to this belt for now. Yeah, yeah, whatever, your lucky Joe fell asleep. I'll see you next time, I gotta get off before I break my controller. Well, we did it, Donald, thanks for having me with you, man. Gotta go, though. I got a podcast to do. Peace out. That leaves just me, I guess. Well, everyone, if you enjoyed this video, make sure you like and subscribe to Lord Waff for more. I promise I'm going to make his bitch ass make more videos now because he is a lazy piece of shit and needs to do it so everyone can see how goaded I am at this game. Well, until next time, peace, bitches. Hello, everybody. It's time for another match today. Today, we will be doing a Hell in the Cell match with some of the original guys that we used to play with. Most of you will know these faces immediately. First, we have myself, Donald T. Trump, a.k.a. The Goat, a.k.a. The Wall, and, of course, the current Intercontinental Champ. Yeah, whatever, bro. Let's show them who they really want to see. What's good, bitches? It's your boy, Big C, also known as Bill Clinton, in this hoe. I'm hyped to finally get back to this game, since it's been forever since we played it. Also, I'll do just about anything to get away from my bitch wife, Hillary.
I don't blame you, bro. Fuck that bitch, honestly. Whooped her ass in the election and never heard from her again. Ha ha. Okay, let's move on. Who's next? Well, Donnie, that would be yours truly, the fucking scourge of the White House himself. The goddamn Bidenator motherfuckers. I'm ready to finally get myself a dub tonight. I chugged four Monster Energy drinks, and I'm currently drinking coffee and shots of Don Julio to ensure that I stay awake through this entire match. Joe, I don't know how taking shots of tequila is going to help you out, but by all means, keep taking them, my guy. All right, moving on. Gentlemen, it's the man himself, Mr. 911, in this shit. George Bush. Everyone better put some respect on my name here because I'm ready to go all in in this bitch tonight. I'm coming for that belt, Donald. Just keep it warm for me. Damn, bro, he is calling you out, Donnie. Don't tell me you're going to just take that, bro. Shut the hell up, Bill. You think I am worried about him? I am the fucking champ for a reason, bro. I assure you, I am not worried in the slightest. You are only the champ because you just up and gave yourself the belt, fat ass. You didn't do anything to actually earn it. Fuck you, Sleepy. That's just a perk of being me. I assure you, all of America wanted me to have this belt. Just look at the polls and you will see it's undeniable. Whatever, man, let's just keep this moving. I lock myself in my gaming room and Hillary is banging on my door trying to get in. Ha ha, man, that sucks to be you, dude. Thank God I have a hot ass wife that lets me do whatever I want. All right, though, let's move on. Now, let me be clear. I plan on walking out of this cell a victorious man tonight, gentlemen. Donnie, that pretend belt you have will be gone and around my waist before you know it. The Obamer is here to take it. Ha ha, yeah, right, like you thought you could just take my hard-earned belt from me so easily. Why don't you let me be clear here? This match is by no means for the title I hold tonight. If by some small chance somebody besides me wins, then maybe, just maybe in the future, I will give them a chance to take it from me. Wow, what a pussy. Yeah, seriously, like, come on, man. I thought you were such a badass, Donald. Guess you red state boys are the real bitches here. Fuck you, sleepy fuck. You think a match where you could win without actually having to even pin me myself to succeed will get you the belt? Go fuck yourself. You need to have a good one-on-one -on -one with me to take this shit. Anyways, let's introduce the last contestant already so we can get this match going. About goddamn time. Been waiting forever for all you old bastards to stop talking so I can get introduced. As most of you might know, I am Ben 10, otherwise known as Ben Shapiro. Donald, I have to say I'm disappointed. You are too scared to put your belt on the line tonight. But I'm more than willing to go one-on-one -on -one with you for it. See, while all you guys quit this game for months, I have been playing every day waiting for the moment you all come running back so I can beat all of you with ease. You have been playing this game every day by yourself, just waiting for us to pick it back up? Damn, that's kind of sad, bro, no cap. Yeah, for real, Ben, what the fuck? I even invited you multiple times to play other games with me and you never answered. Now I see why. Call it sad or weird all you want, guys, but I was never satisfied with how we left it off in our previous videos. I am here to have my moment of glory. Now let's start this shit before all you old grandpas fall asleep, shall we? All right, you fucking nerds, let's do this shit then. I'm starting the match, boys. And for all of our viewers, I am gonna skip ahead in this video a bit because this match went on for fucking ever, and I won't put you through the torture of watching all of it. But I am gonna skip to where it gets interesting. All right, Biden, time to go to sleep, you senile bastard. Ah, oh, fuck. Ha 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 ha, damn, Joe got your ass tossed through the cell, my boy. That's straight up disrespect right there. Personally, I wouldn't take that. Shut the hell up, Bill. You know what, screw all you guys, I'm going on top of the cage. If any of you little boys think you have the balls, then come up and face me, pussies. The Bidenator's gonna slam somebody through this bitch. Okay, I'll take you on Biden. Considering we have been just slamming each other into the walls here for the last 30 minutes, I'll toss you through the cage and then pin your ass for the win. Have fun then, bitch, I'm going in the ring. That's where real men fight pussies. Your fat ass probably couldn't even climb up here, Donald. Who are you trying to fool, bro? Anyone who isn't scared, come face me, bitches. Once I get Barry and fucking Bill off me here, I'll be there. Shit, I was just trying to get out of that fucking mess. I'm coming too, guys. Michelle is watching me play right now, so you know I gotta show out. Oh yeah? Okay, I'm going too then. Would love to slam you through the cage while she watches. Then maybe she will come and fuck with something real. Oh shit. Hell to the fuck now, nah, I know you didn't just say that. You're fucked now, bud. Unlike you, my wife actually still loves me and isn't ugly as fuck. Plus, I don't need to cheat like you because she actually wants to have sex with me. Damn, Bill, you done fucked up now. Well, Donald, since they all want to go up there, I'd say this is perfect for us to have a one-on-one. -on -one. Those dumbasses will all be stuck up on top while I'm pinning you for the win. We shall see about that fuck boy. I ain't worried about you. You and me have been rivals in this shit for so long, though, so it's only fitting that we have a one-on-one -on -one tonight. And get the fuck out of here with that weak-ass pin. 
You really thought you could finish me so easily? Okay, fine. You want to do it the hard way? I'll just beat the shit out of you with this chair then. Sorry to ruin your guys' little date, but I think I'm going to send Ben down your way, gentlemen. Oh, shit. Screw you, Ben, you old Dracula-looking prick. Dracula? The fuck you even talking about, Sonny? I mean, have you even seen yourself? You look like your wife has drained every ounce last bit of life you have in you with her constant bitching and nagging. Now fuck off, I gotta get back on top of the cage. Yeah, seriously, get the hell out of here, you dumbasses. Me and George were trying to have a quick one-on-one -on -one till you guys came and fucked it up. They saved your ass, Trump don't even cap, bro. You're glad they showed up. Yeah, right, I was about to hit you with a Trump cold stunner until they saved your ass. Now fuck out of here, Bill. Go back up on top of the cage with the rest of the rejects and let the men settle this. Ah, oh, whatever, screw you guys. I'm gonna go back up there. But not because you told me to, but because it will be fun to smash Joe through the roof. Ha ha, come on up, pussy bitch. The Bidenator is the king of the cage. I bet this whole match nobody will be able to get me off of here. In fact, I'm gonna stay up here the whole time. Oh yeah, you should totally do that, Joe. I heard that if you manage to stay on top of the cage for 30 minutes straight, you actually win. Wait, seriously, are you for real? Wait, Trump, I've never heard of that. Shut the hell up, George. Of course you have heard of that. And if Joe did it, he would be on top of the cage the entire match and wouldn't bother us down here. You get me? Oh, yeah, I'm so dumb, of course. How could I forget about that rule? Guys, there's no way you think he would actually fall for... Ha, yes, the Bidenator has finally found a foolproof strategy on how to win a match against you guys. Man, I can't wait to see the dumbass look on all your faces when I win by staying up here for 30 minutes. I will literally weld myself to the cage if I have to. Man, that dementia is progressing quicker than I thought. Joe, you can't win by staying up on the cage, you moron. If that was the case, we would all just be up there pushing each other off. Wait, huh? Are you saying that the Bidenator has been bamboozled? Sorry to break it to you, Joe, but yes. They are just telling you to stay up there because they want to be butt buddies and play with each other down there by themselves. The fact that you even fell for that, Joe, just amazes me. So this is who the majority of our population voted for, huh? Man, even though you are a Democrat, I don't know if you winning was a W or an L for us. Man, why do y'all always got to ruin shit for me? In fact, who told him again because you are getting a Trump cold stunner? Well, technically it was me. The fuck you gonna do, bro? Here I'll show you, bitch. Trump cold stunner pussy. Fuck. Oh shit, then you better kick out. Yes. Oh shit, fuck. Kia. Damn it, I was so close. Come on, bro. Thank God I thought Trump was about to get a second win in a row. He would never shut up about that if he did. George, why are you even up here? I thought you wanted to keep Donnie on check in the ring. Yeah, seriously, guys, I could use a bit of help here. I can't get a reversal for Dick. Sorry, but I just had to get away from Donnie for a bit. Only so much anyone can take of that guy. Plus, it looked way more fun up here, and I thought it was about time one of y'all went through this fine cage here. Well, if you want to volunteer, George, I would be more than happy to send your ass through it. But let me just toss Joe through real fast because he is an easier target. Got to call the week, you know? Call the week, you say? Well, sure, the Bidenator can do that. Let's start with you, Bill, since you want to talk all that good shit. I'll send you to hell with your wife, Hillary Pussy. Oh, fuck, how in the hell? Oh, snap, Bill, did you really just let Joe, of all people, slam you through the cage? Ha, embarrassing. Good shit, Joe, I'm proud of you, buddy. That's why I picked you as my VP. Oh, really, Barry? Everyone always just told me it was because I'm an old white guy and that it would help you get some of the white vote. That makes me so happy. I, um... Well, I don't really know how to respond to that, but anyways, uh, yeah, good shit. Well, gentlemen, I gotta say, as much fun as this is, can we hurry this up a bit? Hillary just fucking drop kicked my door, and I think some of the hinges broke off. I won't be able to keep this bitch from getting in for too much longer. Hey, old man, that's your problem for marrying a fucking succubus? I got all night, my dude. Yeah, normally I would have to actually agree with Ben here, but Melania is needing that presidential action again if you catch my drift. She wants the wall all up in her border. I seriously might have just threw up in my mouth a bit with the images that unfortunately put in my head. Don't hate the player, hate the game, my guy. But George and Barry, why don't you guys get down here and stop slamming each other aimlessly on top of the cage and let's finish this shit. Daddy T has business to attend to and there's nothing better than clapping some cheeks after a nice victory on this game. Yeah, fuck that, I ain't going down there with you. Unless Barry here decides to let me put him through this cage, that is, well, now that you mention it, I am getting bored of being up here. But I think it's you who needs to go through the cage, bud. I'm gonna send you down that shit like a fucking drone strike. Ah, uh, shit, you gotta be kidding me. I just fell quicker than the Twin Towers. I'm sure you would know all about that now, wouldn't you, George? A lot of people to this day still do think that it was an inside job after all. Man, fuck whoever actually thinks that. It wasn't me, man. 
Maybe you shouldn't sit there and joke about it then, bro. I mean, that's kind of fucked up. At least I didn't get impeached like you, Bill. Gentlemen, just calm down. We are all friends here. Let's just focus on the match, please, huh? Man, you guys are an absolute mess. I'm just going to skip to the end of this shit now because I can't stand to listen to you guys bitch anymore. All right, guys, we have all just been slamming each other into the side of the ring forever. Now this is getting lame. Yeah, that's why I'm going to take out George here and end this shit already. Yeah, right, you senile fuck like I would actually lose to you. Come here. Uh, guys? Time for the Twin Tower Slam, bitch. Oh, fuck, Joe, you better kick out. Come on, Joe, you got this. Well, that's it, we're all screwed. No, no, no. Nighty night, Biden, you bitch. Ha ha, yes, victory for Mr. 9-11, motherfuckers. Trump will be seeing you for that one-on-one -on -one for the belt, Here's fat boy. Don't keep me waiting too long. Yeah, whatever. I'll hit you up when I get it all set up. I'm going to go drop the Trump Tower on Melania now later, pussies. Yeah, I got to go, guys. Hillary is about to get in my room any second now. Peace out. I guess I'll go and practice some more until the next match. Later, boys. Well, Barry, looks like it's just you and me. You want to play some Warzone? Yeah, no, sorry, bro. Michelle just finished cooking. I'll talk to you later. Damn, all right. Well, I guess that's that then. Well, folks, if you like the video, please like and subscribe to Lord Waff. We are going to be making some more videos, playing a few new games, as well as these WWE videos. Well, until next time, peace, bitches. All right, everybody, the time has come. I'm defending my title tonight against George since he won the Hell in the Cell match in the last video. Hope you're ready, bro, because I have zero intention of losing this belt tonight, nor does anyone want to see me lose. I can assure you of that. Speak for yourself, dumbass. I'm sure there are plenty of people who would just love to see you get your fucking ass beat by me tonight, and that is exactly what I came to do. Oh, also, I have Obama and Biden here as my managers because they told me they wanted nothing more than to see you lose this belt. What the actual fuck, you traitors? You guys told me that I deserve this belt more than anyone and that it looked better on me than anyone else who has worn it before. Fucking bitches. Man, you're delusional, bro. We never said that. We told you from the start that we thought it was bullshit that you gave yourself the belt. Also, we reached out to you in Discord and asked if you wanted us to be your managers, and you said, hold on, let me pull it up. Let's see here. Oh, here it is. You said, and I quote, fuck you lame-ass pussies, why would I want two weakling liberals as my managers? I already have two managers that are way more suited for the job. So from reading that, it seemed like the best option to side with George. Yeah, plus we barely even wanted to be your managers anyways. We just wanted to be in the video because we are bored. Man, screw you guys. I don't remember typing any of that. It must have been some kind of liberal media fake news to make me look like the bad guy. Whatever, though, because I do already have two managers that I feel will do the job well. One you guys already know, and the other is new to our videos, and she is a sexy mega superstar, so I know you guys will be super jealous. Wait, it's a girl. Nobody told me a girl would be here. Man, now I am nervous. Does her hair smell good? Do you think she will let me sniff her hair? Joe, please don't be creepy, bro. Yeah, Joe, we are all at our houses on our mics. You won't be able to smell her, man. Oh, I can assure you her hair smells amazing, Joe. Not that you ever will get the chance to find out for yourself, you old bastard. Anyways, here she is now. Gentlemen, meet my managers. The beautiful and also billionaire like me, Taylor Swift. Oh, yeah, and Ben. Hey, boys. I'm excited to be here to hang out with you guys. This is my first time playing games like this, though. So sorry if I kind of suck at this. I'm also happy to be here, guys. Even though I would rather be fighting for the title myself, but I'm just happy to be in another video, I guess. Shut the fuck up, Ben. Nobody cares. Holy shit, Taylor Swift, you are such a queen, baby. I would love to sniff your hair sometime. Wait, but what are you doing with Trump, though? Aren't you like a diehard Democrat? And I'm pretty sure you even spoke out against Donald on Twitter. Haha, <laughs> oh, thanks, Joe. That's... Kind of sweet in a weird, creepy way, I guess. And honestly, I have to admit that I didn't like Trump until he showed up to my most previous concert and told me he was a total Swifty and asked me if I would join here tonight, and I thought it was kind of sweet. So I decided to give it a go. Wow, I gotta say, I did not see this coming at all. Honestly, this is even better because I get to whoop your ass in front of Taylor and show her what a real man looks like. George, you do know she is dating Travis Kelsey, right? The starting tight end for the Kansas City Chiefs. Not trying to hate or cock block you, but I doubt she is attracted to old washed up presidents. Damn, whose manager are you, bro, for fuck's sake? He is right though, George. If anything, she would want a man more like me because I am the youngest of the group and could protect her more than any of you possibly could. Oh yeah? What's up, Ben, you pussy? The Bidenator could protect her way better than you ever could. Guys, can you all please stop simping like a bunch of bitches? She doesn't want any of you. All of you guys put together aren't even worth half of her net worth, for fuck's sake, you bunch of broke boys. Let's focus on the match, guys. 
I'm so sorry, Taylor's sweetheart, for my annoying friends. Their wives are old and unattractive, unlike mine. So when they talk to a young girl like yourself, they forget their manners. It's okay, Trump. I am honestly kind of used to it being a huge pop star and all. Just don't say anything too crazy, though, guys, or I might have to get my boyfriend Travis on you. Guys, I don't really know shit about football. Do you guys think I could take him? Well, Joe, considering he is a young man that's six foot five and 250 pounds, I would say you wouldn't stand a fucking chance, especially considering you can barely ride a bike for 10 minutes without busting your ass. Yeah, Joe. And you're married to Jill, bro, who has always seemed to be a good wife that puts up with all your creepy bullshit throughout the years, so I doubt you want to mess that up. I'm willing to risk it for the biscuit, baby. Plus, I got secret service, so not like he would be able to even get a 10 feet of me if I didn't want him to. Oh, God, that's... Ooh, gross. Okay, Joe, please, you're about to make the poor girl throw up for fuck's sake. Just give it a rest. Now, I see why you got her as one of your manager's trumpets, because you knew she would be a good distraction for whoever I chose as a manager, because the only people we even play with are mostly old, creepy men. Well, what can I say? I do whatever it takes to get the win. Speaking of the match is about to start, everyone, so it's time to focus up. All right, don't worry, bro. I'm here for you, Donnie. Yeah, me too. Just please don't get mad at me if I don't know what to do, because I have literally no clue how to play this game. Don't worry, Taylor. As a manager, your sole job is to basically just stand by my ringside and talk shit. Just try to distract them. All right, boys, it's time to take the belt away from this dumbass y'all ready. Born ready, George. Yeah, let's do this shit, bro. All right, I'm coming straight for your ass, George. Don't think I'm going to hold back on you, bitch boy. Got a couple of Trump cold stunners for your ass. Ha ha ha, yeah, right. Shut your fat ass up. I've been practicing my reversals, so you ain't hitting no finishers on me all night. Oh, no, Trump, get out of there. Ben, this isn't good, right? Taylor, just keep it cool. It's literally the very beginning of the match. Good shit, George. Take control early. We need this to wear him out. What's wrong, Donnie? You seem pretty quiet, bro. Normally, you can't shut up. Oh, yeah? You know what? Fuck this. Get the hell off me, George. Y'all talking so much shit so early in the match like your boy Donnie ain't him. Yes, that a boy Donnie. Let's go, baby. See that hot blonde in my corner? That's what I call good old American motivation. It's got me feeling lucky. Let's see if I can get an early pin. Yeah, fucking right. Did you really think some shit like that would work on me? Yeah, come on, Donnie. Try to be for real here. That had zero chance of actually working. It's not like you're fighting Joe here. Yeah, it's not like you're fighting me. Wait, what? Ha ha, yeah, you're right. If that was Joe, he would have just fell asleep during the pin, giving me the easy dub. Not to say tonight won't be easy as well. Man, I can't wait for you to lose that belt, Donnie. You let that shit get to your head so much. Not that it surprises me, though. You need to be humbled, my guy. Don't you worry, Joe, little buddy. Big Texas George is going to humble his ass good tonight. I got to say, that sounded kind of sus, bro. But guys, if Trump can just give himself a belt, then would you guys be okay with me giving myself one? Ha, uh, yeah, right. Like, you could ever wear a belt with the big boys, Ben. Let me just tell you now, man, you're cute, but more in like a little brother kind of cute. You should just leave the matches to the men here. To the men? Goddamn, Ben, personally, I would never let a female talk to me like that. But that's just me, though. Shit, Ben, she just flamed your ass, bro. I would probably just log off and delete this game if a girl like Taylor Swift said that to me. But women would never say that to me because I am Big Daddy T, and they are just naturally attracted to me. I mean, I could have any girl I want whenever I want. I'm seriously so confused. I am literally the youngest and probably the best in shape here. Out of all us guys, I would literally probably beat any of you in a fight in real life. Oh, that's cute, Benny. Yeah, I'd like to see you try Ben. Here in Texas, we don't throw hands, we shoot first ass later, bitch. Yeah, back in my day, we used to give kids like you wedgies and swirlies, fuck boy. Man, I miss when wedgies were in style. And you know your boy Obama can throw hands, Ben, stop the cap. I, uh, yeah, well, man, fuck you guys. It's okay, Ben, some guys just aren't fighters. It's not a bad thing. Anyways, though, Trump, when are you gonna win this? Because Travis is calling and I didn't tell him I was playing with you guys because I don't want him to get jealous. Don't worry, sweetheart. I just tossed his bitch ass out the ring. Man handled his ass. Shouldn't beat him much longer now. And just text Travis and tell him you're with a real man. A billionaire. Eight billion to be precise. How's this for real man, pussy? UFC your ass. Dana White will probably call me after that for a contract. Oh yeah? Contract this, you little bitch? Hey, wait, I'm not done with my taunt. Get your ass the fuck back in the ring. You want me to handle this for you, George? Stay the hell back, Sleepy. No, it's good, Joe. I appreciate it, man. He would probably cry and scream disqualification, and I want to win this the real way. All right, bro. Just know I got your back. Good shit, Joe. That's real as fuck. I fuck with that. Oh, no, Trump. Come on. Don't let him beat you up, baby. Well, maybe if Mr. Big Texas here would fight fair instead of having his goons crowd on Donnie, he could. The fuck you say, Ben? I didn't do shit. Ha ha. Got you, dumbass. 
Good shit, Ben. I knew you were a good choice to have with me. Yo, what the fuck? That's cheating, man. What kind of pussy shit is this? Hey, the ref didn't say it was cheating, so it's clean. You should have paid more attention. Good shit, Ben. That was actually pretty cool. Oh, shit, pin him, Donald. And thank you, Taylor. Nice to get some recognition. The fuck off of me. Now you fucked up, Donnie. You just pissed me off. Ha, huh, yeah, right time to end this. Trump cold stunner pussy. Oh, shit, what the fuck, how? Hell yeah, good shit, Georgie. Like I told you earlier, Donnie, I have been practicing my reversals. You ain't hitting no Trump cold stunners tonight, bitch boy. Donald, you told me the Trump cold stunner was your ultimate move and that it was impossible to block. You said it was your Trump card, which I thought was a clever pun, can even lie. Don't worry, Taylor, my sweet. It must have just been a glitch or this fucking cheater is hacking or some shit because I can assure you the Trump cold stunner is impossible to block under normal circumstances. But it's all good because I don't need it to win. Let's see you win after I hit you with my finisher. Twin tower slam, bitch. Oh no, Donnie, get up. It's gonna take a lot more than that to beat me, you old bastard. Get the fuck off of me. Now let me get up. If you're such a real man, let's settle this shit. Ain't no way I'm letting you beat me and take my belt in front of Taylor. Damn, you sounded a little upset there, bro. But gladly get your ass up then, pussy. Stop being so mean, George. I think it's cute when Donald shows his sensitive side. Haha, <laughs> too bad, bitch. I don't really give a fuck what you think. I'm not here to try and impress you. I'm here to take this scrubs belt. Don't you ever call Taylor a bitch, you piece of shit. Now you done fucked up, bro. Oh shit, fuck me. Yay, finish him, Donald. It's all good, George. Just focus on the kick out. You ain't done yet, man. No worries, I'm just getting started. Gonna take more than that to beat me. Motherfucker. All right, that's it. I'm locking in now. I swear to God, I will not lose this match. I will win by any means necessary. Just calm down a bit, Donald. They are trying to get you flustered so that you make mistakes. Just stay focused and time your reversals. Yeah, Donnie, don't get too mad, bro. Wouldn't want you throwing a temper tantrum and breaking your PC again like you did in one of our older videos, LOL. Shut the fuck up, sleepy, you fucking rat. I am not mad. Come here, George, I'm finishing this. You're the one taunting dumbass, but all right, let's do this shit. All right, I'm gonna slam your dumbass and pin you for the win. Get ready to cry, pussy. Oh, shit, fuck. I don't think so, bro. I'm out of here. Bye-bye, bitch boy. Oh, no, Ben, do something. Don't worry, I got him. Get your ass back in the ring, Grandpa. What the fuck, you guys really cheating again? Ha ha, fuck you, George, you little bitch. You really thought I would fight fair tonight? You must be even dumber than you look because, like I said, I am not losing my belt tonight, bro. So either do something about it or just let me pin you and admit I'm the better man. Hey, come on, Trump. This is some bullshit for real. This is twice Ben has run interference for you in this match. If that's how you need to win, that's just sad, dude. Yeah, what kind of pussy shit is this? Like, come on, man. Stop hating on Donald boys. I think if it was against the rules, he would have been disqualified, then wouldn't he? You know, I'm really starting to dislike you, Taylor. You have been riding Trump's nuts all night. You know what? I don't even want to sniff your hair now. Oh, well, thank God then. Oh, uh, whatever, bitch. Boys, it's honestly all good. I don't know if you noticed, but since they pulled that lame ass shit, I've been fucking him up. I got something that is gonna put him away for good. Oh shit, you gotta be fucking kidding me. Time to end this shit already. No, wait, what? Ha ha, fuck yes, rope break, you stupid fuck. Wow, what the hell, man, come the fuck on. Looks like luck is on our side tonight, he <laughs> he. Yes, it is, baby. But now, Ben, I need you to come over here and get this bastard off me. Throw him back in the ring, and then I'm gonna get in there and hit him with a Trump cold stunner and win this shit. Ben, I swear to fuck, if you touch me again, I will drone strike your house, asshole. I still have that ability, motherfucker. Sorry, Donnie, you're on your own, bro. Ben, no, don't be a pussy. You goddamn coward, Ben, I knew you were a fucking rat. I will not forget this, bro. You had the ability to change the outcome of this match. Once I win this, I'm gonna ban you from our Discord. You won't be winning shit, bro, nighty night. Yes, 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 finish him, George, this is it. You got this, bro. Oh no, Donnie, get up, baby. I'm sorry, Donald. Fuck! I can't believe it, you fucking cheated. Fuck this fucking computer. Um, did he just break his shit again? Well, I think that's my cue to leave. It was fun, boys. See ya. Well, that was awkward. But shit, I got the belt, gentlemen. It's a glorious day. But that's enough for me for tonight. Everyone, thanks for watching. And if you liked the video, remember to like and subscribe. Well, until next time. Peace, bitches. All right, everyone. So today we are having a 10-man Royal Rumble match. If you haven't seen our other videos, then I will quickly explain the stakes here tonight. So... Ben, shut the hell up. Who even let you think you could do the intro to this video? Hello, everyone. It is your favorite president, Big Daddy T, also known as Donald fucking Trump.
So tonight, we are having a 10-man Royal Rumble match to determine who will get a shot of taking the Intercontinental Championship belt from George. Now, let's hurry this shit up. I got to get this win and get my victory speech ready. Wow. Uh, okay. That was rude. If you would have just let me explain, it probably would have been even quicker than you interrupting me. Shut up, Ben. I don't really give a damn. I'm starting this shit now. You and Obama are up first, so do me a favor and go get your shit rocked by him and get disqualified early. All right, Ben, get ready, my guy, because we have been playing this damn game for too long without me getting a title shot. You do know I've never gotten a shot at the title either, right? And I'm clearly the fan favorite, so if anyone deserves it, it's me. The fan favorite? The fuck is this guy talking about? Yeah, Ben, I doubt most people who watch our videos even know who you are. I mean, the whole point of these are the president's play, WWE, keyword being president. Speaking of presidents, what's up, pussies? It's your boy, Bill Clinton. I'm about to absolutely dominate you scrubs tonight. I know you ain't talking to me like that, Mr. Epstein Island VIP member. Only thing you're gonna win tonight is a life sentence. Damn, Barry Popoff. I know you ain't saying shit, Joe. You stay smelling little kids and shit on live TV, so don't even try to say nothing. It's not my fault I like the smell of children's hair products. I think we can all agree that you both are just creepy old fucks. That's why my approval rating for the upcoming election is so high because the people of this great country are tired of electing senile old pedos into office. Can you guys all shut up? I'm trying to focus and someone new just came out. Yeah, all you guys shut up. It's your man Elon here and I gotta admit I'm only doing this because I am a bored billionaire with nothing better to do. Hey, I can totally relate to that Elon. Only other thing I have going on is beating Joe in the next election, but that's light work. Also, thanks for unbanning me on Twitter. Liberals can keep a real one down. Light work would be you getting put in prison by the end of the year, fuck ass. Joe, please, the men are talking. And no problem, Donald, but I need to remind you that it's no longer called Twitter, it's called X now. Bruh, ain't nobody calling that shit X fuck out of here with that goofy ass name. Gentlemen, while Florida man has entered the chat, decided if I'm not gonna win the election, I might as well win something. So I'm coming for that belt. Damn, bro, the Republican nomination hasn't even been decided yet. You just giving up already? Of course he is because he is a bitch. Ha ha, man, Ron, you're even trailing under Nikki Haley now. Looks like America would rather have a woman president than your dumb ass. I mean, I don't think a woman being president would be bad as long as her values are good for the people of our country. Yeah, especially if her hair smells good and she is hot. And this is who we elected as our president? Yeah, looks like I know the feeling of winning an election. Unlike you, Ron. Wait, did I just read that name correctly? Read correct, you did, cousin. It is me, Vladimir Putin. I come to crush weak American scum. Yo, what the fuck? Why does your voice sound like that? The real question here is, why the fuck are you here right now, Putin? This is for Americans only. I give no fuck about that. I joined match to prove to America that Russia is stronger. Man, what the fuck? Someone kicked this guy out of here. Typical Americans. I knew you are too pussy to face Russian men in combat. All right, guys, hold up. I will boot him from the game. Don't you do fucking shit, Joe. I'm going to whoop his fucking ass. Ain't nobody scared of this fucking dictator, bitch. Oh, shit. Here comes Donnie, boys. I agree, though. Let this asshole stay. If anything, I can get the people to like me again if I toss his ass out of the ring. Yeah, I think you might be past the point of no return when it comes to regaining the approval of American citizens, Bill. Honestly, you're lucky we even let you still play with us after the recent release of the new Epstein logs. Well, whatever you will, I'll have no choice but to respect me after I win tonight and then take the title from George. Yeah, keep dreaming, bud. Anyways, there should only be a few more people left to join, and then we can really start culling the herd, so to speak. Yeah, where the hell is Joe, by the way? He got pretty lucky with the number draw tonight. Well, gentlemen, the only number that matters tonight is number 80 fucking seven. It's your boy, Travis Kelsey, a.k.a. the best tight end of all time. And I want to give this WWE thing a try here. Would love to add a belt to my collection of Super Bowl rings. Best tight end of all time? I thought that was Taylor Swift. Oh, shit, Joe, you just snapped. Trav, I know you aren't going to let him talk about your girl like that. Joe, just wait until you get in this ring, bud. I'm going to fuck you up now after that. Speaking of fucking someone up, I think it's time for you to go. Bill, see you later, douchebag. Oh, fuck, come on, man. This was my chance to prove myself as a good man to everyone. Yeah, whatever. Fuck out of here, loser. All right, who is next, boys? How about we toss Putin out next? No chance. Russian man is stronger than any of you weak pussies. I'm down with taking him out. And after we throw your ass out, Putin don't expect me to ever unban Russia from using X. Russia does not need X. We will make new social platform that will be much bigger than X. And we will call it uh, Y. Wait, I don't get it. Why would you name it Y? 
because Travis, he thinks he is cute by naming it that, because Y is the next letter in the alphabet after X, you fucking dingus. Man, how the hell did you land, Taylor? You know, she was in one of our last videos, and she was all up on the Trump D, right? What she never told me she was on one of your videos. Ha, ah, yeah, I bet she didn't. Probably because she wanted the Donald to clap her cheeks after the match we had. And I'll tell you now, I probably would have folded and done it, my guy. Yeah, and she wanted to let me smell her hair. Guys, stop lying. Trump, you got mad that you lost that match, if I remember right, and broke your keyboard. And Joe, she did not want you to do that, man. Just chill. Gentlemen, if anyone would have been clapping those delectable cheeks, it would have been me. John F. Kennedy, everyone's true favorite president. Um, guys, did nobody just see Putin knocked me out of the ring? I mean, honestly, Elon, that sucks, but I doubt anybody cares that much. It would honestly be kind of lame if it was you going to fight George for the belt. Hold on, stop changing the subject. Why are you guys talking about my girl in such a disrespectful way? Look, man, I'm just saying if she ever met me, I'm sure those cheeks would have fallen victim to the Kenmeister. She is a liberal, right? Well, say hello to everyone's most loved Democratic president. I would also enjoy the clapping of the cheek. All right, fuck all you guys. Can you please stop talking about her like this? Okay, let's just chill, guys. We're all supposed to be cool here. Well, besides Putin, I guess. But let's just focus on the match now that everyone besides Joe is here. All right, whatever. Hey, guys, I have been wondering, though, what kind of match is the winner going to have with George for the belt in the next WWE video? Apparently, he said he is going to join the Discord at the end of this match and let us know what he wants to do. Well, whatever it is, I can promise you, gentlemen, that I will be up to the fucking task. Yeah, sorry, John, I don't think so. Time to take your fucking head off. Oh, shit, what the fuck? Come on, man, and what kind of joke was that? Take my head off? You trying to say that because I got shot? And I literally just joined, man. Sucks to suck. Now, Trump cold stunner, Ben, you pussy. Damn, what the hell, Trump? You should have used that on Putin, not me. Uh, it would not have worked even if you would have tried. Guys, I gotta say, this ring is feeling too crowded. Think it's time we eliminated someone else. Oh, sure, bud. How about you? The fuck did you say? How about this, you're gone, dumbass? Tell Taylor to have my dinner ready for me when I get home. Holy fucking shit, Ron can't even lie. That was hard as fuck, bro. I might have actually just gained a little respect for you after that. Yeah, we will call you next time we get Taylor in a video, Travis, and go Bills. Time to do it again, boys. See you later, Ben, you fucking nerd. Oh shit, what the hell? No, come on, man. I swear I never win anything on this stupid fucking game. It's all right, Ben. You don't want to hang with these douchebags anyways. Yeah, whatever, loser. Make sure you tell Taylor to not wash her hair after her next concert. I want to smell it in all its natural sweaty glory. Well, boys, only five of us now, and I got to say the fact that Putin is still here is kind of fucked. I already told you Donald Russia would be victorious tonight. Yeah, I don't think so, bro. Literally, nobody wants you to win. It does not matter if they don't want me to win. I will win because I am stronger. Oh, shit, guys. Somebody help my fucking controller. Batteries just died. Sorry, drone boy, but one less man is one less man. I don't care who you are. Fuck him trying, Barry, but Ron beat my ass. Oh, for fuck's sake. You gotta be kidding me. Ugh, it's all right. I will just win a different belt instead, I guess. Maybe we can do a tag team championship soon, like we always talked about in our older videos. Yeah, sure, that sounds fine to me. We will discuss it in the next video. But for now, I'm gonna skip ahead in this video because this match is taking forever. Well, Joe, time for you to say goodbye, you weak piece of shit. Joe, if you let him DQ you, we are gonna impeach you for sure. Like, I would let this fucking ball fuck toss me out. That's it, it's time to show what the Bidenator is capable of. Key ya, bitch! No way you can't be serious. I let this old Cena fuck disqualify me. Oh my God, Joe, I actually love you, bro. Holy shit, I did not think you had that in you. I still think you are incompetent, Joe. I believe that was your duty as president to eliminate him. And it was your duty to everyone who endorsed you to win the Republican nomination, Ron, but we all know how that's going. Damn, Joe strikes again, but sorry, Sleepy, you gotta go, bud. Later, loser. Wait, no, Donald, please, I never get to win. Not my problem, pussy. All right, it's just you and me now, Ron. All right, Donald, let this be our final battle. Oh, it will. I've been saving up something special for you. Do you want to know what it is? Is it you about to be getting eliminated? Because I would love that. Oh, you thought I would lose like this? Bro, you're going to have to do way more than that to beat me. But don't worry, because I'm about to give you a little surprise. Well, then just show me already, for fuck's sake. All right, if you insist, Trump cold stunner pussy. Ah, uh, shit, how did I actually not counter that I literally knew that's what you were doing? Well, then you should have an idea of what I'm going to do next. Time to go bye-bye, Ronnie. Go hang out with the other rejects. Aw, oh, damn, man. Come on. Man, I can't win shit. Fuck my life. Wow, what a surprise. Donnie wins yet another rematch for the belt. Don't hate me, because you ain't me.
Now, somebody invite George so he can tell me what kind of match we are going to have for my title that he stole from me. All right, I'll invite him now. What's up, guys? So who won? Who do you think, dumbass? So what kind of match are we doing? Wow, really, guys? You let him win again? Ugh, whatever. Well, Donnie, get a team ready because we are having a repeat match here. We are having a War Games match. Fuck yes. Really, War Games, huh? I like it. All right, well, I will assemble an elite team immediately. But until then, if you like this video, please like and subscribe. Until next time, peace, bitches.